It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Lots going on today. In studio, Colin Quinn, who, who called us up and said, hey, I want to come in here. And uh, we're happy to have you, Colin. Also, uh, Rich Voss to my right here. We're happy to have you too, Rich. I want to start off by saying that. By the end of the show, I don't know if we're going to be happy that you're here, but uh, we'll start off on the right foot. Just to show, just to show what a, the world's worst, the dumbest Jew. Yeah. I'm friends with Bob Levy, too, and I still say Voss is number one. Yeah. He called, last night we see him at the cell, he goes, to me, what's happening with this crisis? <laughs> Who ever heard of a Jew asking a Catholic what's happening with the financial? <laughs> and it's Rosh Hashanah. He's not anywhere near like the family. <laughs> Why are you talking with food in your mouth? Didn't they teach you at Fit Club <laughs> that you're supposed to talk without food in your mouth, you <laughs> idiot? All right. <laughs> When you were on the scale and Ant was looking at you saying, listen, don't talk with food in your mouth. All right, novelty act. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Wait, why is yes. it novelty act? He is, he's like, he just fell in that category of screech and all those type of people. I mean, five years ago, he was Colin Quinn. Now he was he's that guy from Tough Crowd. You know what I mean? But I don't I do, know. But why is that a novelty act? It doesn't really yeah, explain this. I'm not sure what the novelty act part is. I'm not uh, saying he's not finished, but I don't understand what <laughs> the novelty act comes Exactly. Out. You went over your head. You started too early. You should just let me finish. I was half bombing, and now you're totally bombing. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot that I was I, bombing. I thought you <laughs> shut your orange spray on face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were done because you swallowed. I didn't why, know. Why is your shirt the same color as your skin right now? <laughs> I, want, I want the people. techniques of DJ AM. I want the people to play a long at home. Rich Voss is brilliant for the first 20 seconds. When it gets to 25 or 30, just listen closely. Yeah. Uh, the wheels fall off. I uh, I was arguing with my uh, dad last night over this whole uh, financial crisis. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm asking Anthony, because he would know about this, are the Republicans totally to blame for lifting all the regulations on, on the housing market? Or uh, Yes. Totally. You're saying... Uh, totally and completely, yeah. Okay, so here's what it no, is. No, I'm when not it, saying that. When it came to stupidity, for, but when it came to moral issues, the Democrats and the Republicans completely oh are at blame. Oh, God, for. why are you trying to be smart? <laughs> <laughs> it's early. The one good quality we have is being funny. Okay. And you're trying to be smart. I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, we, they're, they're actually got some kind of indictments now they're going to try to get against Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the scummy... Mortgage companies for their names or for what they did? <laughs> yeah, really. That's that's the worst name ever, Fannie Mae. Yeah, that sounds like two acts on like a Def Jam special. <laughs> Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Give it up, y'all, for Freddie Mac. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this white like, people be crazy. Yeah. With the news I'm coming out for some of these ladies in here. With the news coming out today, it, it, this doesn't matter anymore. But we do have a montage of uh, the heartbeat away from uh, the president. Uh, oh. We just did our Main Street, Wall Street, Wall Street, Main Street montage, right? Which they can't get enough of saying. Did you hear the the, the Wall Street, Main Street thing? No, oh. but I like that expression. I think it's pretty much hits it on the head. I bet you doesn't, they, doesn't, doesn't it? About it's it. not used <laughs> enough on the news. I bet you they all thought they had something with this Wall Street, Main Speaking Street of thing. Played out. How about this? pompous white trash patchog going that's middle america for you there's more toothless people where he's from <laughs> patchog he says <laughs> he always picks some other long island crap hole that i'm from i'm from northport my friend the oh, the tiny oh. hamlet of northport all the dirt bags pretend they're from northport <laughs> <laughs> all the dirt bags yeah that that lady is, doesn't represent middle America, maybe the epicenter, but, but it, it spreads out from there. Rock. It absolutely is middle America. This center reach, son of a... <laughs> center reach. <laughs> this is, he's naming every crap hole on Long Island that I've, I've never lived in. He's not from Norfolk. Can you bring Boston to the party? What what town would Anthony be from if he was in Massachusetts? The Massachusetts what, No, area. no, Boston's from Jersey. No, yeah. I said... Uh, oh, Boston. Yeah. Because you uh, go after Anthony being yeah, from like Patchog, a, Center Reach, Mastic. Well, what about, really about where I really was from when Everett, I lived up there? Everett, Massachusetts. I lived, I lived in Ashland yeah. oh. by Framingham. Yeah. Still, <laughs> but still my favorite is when he went out to the West Coast. With, what's his name? Jackson. <laughs> Jimmy Jackson. Oh, I love Jimmy him. Jackson. <laughs> we get, you promised us another Jimmy Jackson <laughs> story when Colin came in. So I know. I, I'm going to have to really uh, right, go through some old you know, pictures or something. Yeah. And you know look what's sad downstairs when I signed in just now? My name, the name right ahead of me. Not Ritual. It's his voice. He's still trying to sell it, even to the guys at the security just desk. Just one name like that? He's a one-name guy. One-name guy. Voss. 
Uh, because mm. Colin didn't hear it. Here's the Wall Street Main Street uh, montage the boys put together. Because uh, it's it's the catchphrase of the day there. Everyone thought they were clever coming up with this one. There's no question that the troubles on Wall Street have absolutely bled into Main Street. To make sure that Main Street is getting the same kind of help that Wall Street's getting. Wow. The bad news from Wall Street has folks on Main Street in a panic. <laughs> what does it mean for Wall Street? What does it mean for the rest of us, maybe on Main Street? Main Street is looking for accountability from Wall Street, and that, of course, impacts both Wall Street as well as Main Street. And we must insulate Main Street from Wall Street. Understand that this is just as much about Main Street as it is about Wall Street. Wall Street is Main Street, folks. I don't want to spend all this money to bail out these, these Wall Street fat cats. It, it, it's also bailing out Main Street. Well, <laughs> Wall Street, Main Street. There it is. Oh, right. And now we... One guy, like, used it, and it was probably clever, like, oh, I understand. You know, it's the financial guys right. and the average Joe on the street. And then they all just... just Pounce on it and use overuse it. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm surprised Obama didn't slip instead of saying Main Street, say Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> <Pretty funny>. <laughs> <laughs> MLK. Uh, very nice. Well, this this one doesn't matter anymore. But uh, then they did the heartbeat away from uh, the presidency thing. Here's the montage. If John McCain wins, this woman will be one 72-year-old's heartbeat away from being president of the United States. They're both trying to be a heartbeat away from the presidency. The right. heartbeat away from the presidency. The 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 heartbeat away from the presidency. A 72-year-old heartbeat away from the presidency of the United States of America. To be a heartbeat away from the presidency. <laughs> oh, the media oh, just sucks. God. And Biden is a scope away from the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> what are you insane? Wow. What? I oh, Rich Moss. <laughs> we just got to acknowledge Jesus. that you got a little, 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 little saucy there, Rich. That was a good one. How come? Uh, <laughs> Enjoy the visit from the Secret Service. Yeah, no, yeah, no kidding, man. We had nothing to do with that one. Opie no, and Anthony and Jim Norton had nothing to do. Don't get your teeth pulled. They'll knock them out for you. Yeah. <laughs> How's wait for uh, the senator? That's a good one. Yeah. Boss would be a terrible assassin because the sun would glint off those shiny. <laughs> teeth in the top of that building. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Colin, you were discussing the Sarah Palin thing with Rich Voss before yeah, you no, guys I got saw, in here? Yeah. What do you Crazy. think there, Rich? I think it's smart, but... He said, uh, she's dropping out of the race, <laughs> and I, I, I said, where did you hear that from? He said, you guys, and I'm going, that's where you get your news from? Yeah. She's not dropping out of the race. I heard it on Yahoo first, and I heard these guys. You heard it or yeah. read Oh, Yahoo? Well, I read it when this morning, but... It's not happening. Well, she's debating Thursday night. No, and then she's going to Hilarities to see me work in Cleveland. She's What's that? Thursday night. They're bringing in that guy, Tim <laughs> Pauly, whatever his name is, from Minnesota. Palenti. Yeah. Governor of Minnesota. Yeah. That's a mistake, too. They should go with Rudy. There you go. No one want to vote for Rudy. Yeah, maybe. If he, yeah. It, first of all, he knows if she dropped out of the race, it would just destroy his campaign right now. Because not they, any worse than yeah, she's retired. No, 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 no. But she's not no, just, she's would, dropping would, out on her own. He's not telling her to step down. No, That's the key to this the, whole thing. The she's, Democrats she's are going to say. The Democrats are going to say he can't even make it a vice president decision on who to pick. Or vice presidential a decision. Yes, presidential. Whatever. No, I wouldn't say he can't make a vice president decision. <laughs> vice presidential. Okay, I'm not going to, you know what, you add on all the extra syllables, whatever. <laughs> yeah, You fancy. have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who needs syllables, right, Rich? Yeah. But she's not driving. Egg you head. think so? You gotta yeah, I know she is. She uh, yeah. Ask this clown. He's, he's, he's the political the, uh, guy. He That's reads the, the stupid the Wall Street Journal. He's That's, stunt brain. He reads the Wall Street Journal every day. Yep, every single day. And it's, who they're uh, saying? Most crowd. Uh, Tim Pawlenty, the governor of Minnesota, is the number one guy who should have been there in the first place had it not been Romney. <clears throat> yeah. Why is it not Romney, being that he's complete, you know, he's so conservative, and McCain is liberal conservative? Why are they not, you one know, the One five-minute conversation last night, you really spouted it out. This reminds me of when we did Tough Crowd and Norton would try to be smart and like for like three weeks in a row he came in with like all the facts and everyone was annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> but at least Norton's inherently smart. He's not educated. What's a liberal a conservative though? Well, it's, it, who, who's not completely to the right or conservative on his issues Wait, when it comes a liberal to... liberal conservative? Yeah. Did you mean to say a liberal a, Republican? That's what I meant. Liberal no, he meant Republican. the president oh. uh, type. <laughs> what, is, what is a liberal conservative? It's quite every, every mm -hmm. uh, issue he's not completely... Following the conservative party, when it comes to immigration, he believes that it should happen, or we should let 
the immigrants in, which is not a conservative view. We should okay. let well, every uh, immigrant in? Is that what he's saying? Not all of them, but he, he's saying that we should open the border. I think we should go back to the old 80s radio where you'd have a comedian come in and set up his bits, because you're really <laughs> bumming us out. <laughs> Hey, Rich, I heard you have a gambling problem. Yeah. I wish Byron yeah. Allen was here. Rich, yeah. you have a gambling problem. <laughs> hey, Jim, you like sex. Hey, I heard this election's coming up. No matter what it is. <laughs> if it was the 80s, the studio would be chasing you down the street in Buffalo. Shut up, stupid. The uh, audience chasing you. I got it, but I, I'm like, what are you doing? What? The radio would be... Ch the, no, you could have just made a simple... It didn't have to be specific to me. You could have made a joke because the 80s should actually be popular. If the 80s... Because I, I, I think you, you're still popular, and I think you're great, so I'm not going to attack you. Boom! <laughs> you're, you're in my top 100 favorite comics. <laughs> At number 56? <laughs> Wow. You are great, right. and you don't let clubs determine whether you're good or bad. <laughs> Just because Levy's booking you now in firehouses <laughs> doesn't mean... If you look at a heart monitor, the line goes up and down when it goes straight across your dead. You're right. So your career, it goes up and down. You're a little down now, Ooh, you're but you're, you're going to come back because right. you're Colin Quinn. You're going to change his name to Dow Quinn. That's true. <laughs> it ties it in. I tied that in. Tied that, in. <laughs> that was a good one, boss. You're don't great. be hating on him. I, who? I'm, I'm your... On your, Norton, I mean. Every time I'm on the radio, I always bring up your name. What? Oh, he always says that. It's really uncomfortable. I know. Mm. <laughs> because it's just the idea of him sitting in some faraway place, bringing up my name because there's a lull in, you know, you know, Pedro and man boobs or whatever morning show is doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's sitting there Pedro and, and he comes Man-Boob back show. next like he's doing like me a it. favor for mentioning me in Tulsa yeah, right. on the 6 a.m. like soccer mom station. <laughs> Leave me out of it. <laughs> Die by yourself. <laughs> I mean, me and Bonnie were just disgusted, hon. And I mean, <laughs> I took Dylan, George, Gracie, Allen. Only he's Gracie. <laughs> Let's say hi to Charlie. Uh, Charlie, it's the Opie and Anthony show. Jay Moore has completely ruined Colin. Every time I hear Colin's voice, all I can think about is him doing Reservoir Dogs. I know. Yeah, that yeah, was a good one. We have that. We can play that one more time. For and the folks I don't like out the there. fact that everybody's now doing Jay doing me. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's Bobby did it the other day. Norton did it the other day. What do you mean? Anthony does it now. That's done. pretty much what everybody same does. I've always done. <laughs> no, no, that's not. <laughs> you've never did it like I, that. I, that. Of course I have. What do you think? You just started mumbling recently? That's of course I have. No, I've heard you do me. You go here he is from seventy two. We'll be going. You do me from remote control because when you were little, you used to stay home. I and never watch saw it. remote control. <laughs> when you were little. <laughs> when you were little. <laughs> when you were little the first time, you stay home and watch it. No, that's not true. Well, you know, well, yeah. no, I've always done it. That's Jay Moore. That's not. I don't say anything. I just. I'll I don't. Jay Jay gets your personality yeah. down. Where he'll personality? You mean you better not <laughs> personal. <laughs> Anthony's got it down too. No, I yeah, I'm not putting no, you on the spot. No. When, he, no. when he feels it, he'll do it a little later for you. But he, Anthony, he's got it down too. I want Anthony to do d dice as Bobby Kelly for voice. <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh yeah, did that one the other day. Yeah, you well, did. No. <laughs> here, here, here! Once no. again, is Jay Moore <laughs> doing Colin <laughs> Quinn? <laughs> oh, that's not her. That's not her. You silly goose! Oh, I'm so pointing at the TV, happened. laughing. <laughs> that's I not her. Al Roker. Hey, how did you know what I was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus. I'm going for the 12-year-old insult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you know who I meant? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at it on the TV. <laughs> if you don't like it. Look at Colin. That's, that's a girl. <laughs> uh, Jay Moore doing Colin uh, Quinn doing Reservoir Dogs. It's a, it's a quick minute here. Please put Colin in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Guys, you know, obviously there was a rat in this whole operation. And I know it wasn't me. I'm pretty goddamn sure it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely freaked out in there, but he seems, I don't know, he seems pretty okay now. He's a big guy, I don't know. <laughs> Holy I mean, Christ. You're holding a desert eagle. He's asking you if you want to bark all day. Remember, you're going to kill him. A guy like that doesn't have all this, you know. I mean, just reach his... <laughs> 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 we need to get with Joe, get this guy to the hospital. He's getting blood on my shoes. <laughs> Finicky, I am when it comes to my LA gear sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Say the goddamn words, stupid. <laughs> Holy it's Colin God. driving around the valley with Bobby <laughs> Kelly in the back. <laughs> I'm in the I broke my stomach, man. <laughs> Are you going to be okay, stupid? Will you shut up? You're bleeding all over my car. You're done. <laughs> <laughs>
That dumb bitch, you know, if I gotta shoot some cop, if that's the difference between me doing, you know, 10 years. Why? <laughs> 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 you know, that's what I talk about in the meeting today. I was really stressed out. I went to like five meetings in <laughs> ten minutes. What I do is, oh, hi, my name's Colin, and then I went out to Rome and go to another one. <laughs> so I don't want to listen to anybody else talk. They're all boring. They want to outdo each other. Holy <laughs> God, is that a perfect Colin? Oh, that is amazing. That's good, right there? He, yeah. He, he yeah, really yeah, does capture your essence there, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's the good thing. At least I have somebody like that people know doing me, Jay Moore. Voss, there's this one guy that just comes around. We, he claims to be a comic. Bob De Bono. <laughs> oh, yes. We've had Bob on the show doing Voss. Does he does voice. a great Voss. And you don't see him again. He must be like a, a strong middle from like, you know, the South. Yeah. And then he just shows up and does Voss. He might be listening right now. Bob, call the show. He, it, it's, it, it's unbelievable how well he does Voss. It's great. And now that we have you on the show, we could have him do it, and then people could, you know. You're proud part of the bit. Yeah. does you. You just called him a celebrity. Is that you're proud because he lasted one more year longer <laughs> on SNL than you did. Um, he's starring. He's got in a, a big show. Know, he's starring in a CBS sitcom. Yeah, whatever. Tuesday nights. Uh, Gary, Gary unmarried. Gary unmarried. Some unpicked up pilot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. He's, done, he's done motion pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so who cares? Bad time. He's a big act. But... Jay's actually doing very well. Yeah, right Jay's now. doing well. He's been in some, you know. Pretty popular movies. Oh, yeah? Well, I might have a webisode coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Life with Bonnie. And then some more letters. Now you Rich. can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, you got a messed up plug. You're going to be at Hilarities in Cleveland, right? Yeah. yeah. But you want people to go to Pickwick and Frolic.com slash Hilarities for tickets? I, How are they going to remember that? Oh. Just hilarities in Cleveland. That's good enough. They'll find it. All right, Thursday through Sunday? Yeah, this Thursday through Sunday. Watch out for the homeless zombies up there, man. As, especially with the economy going, uh, oh, it's unbelievable. going south, you're going to see more homeless zombies in Cleveland. I didn't see anybody in Cleveland. The city looked like uh, I am legend. Well, the downtown There's, area. It's, they, it's all about nobody the, there. It's all about the suburbs uh, up there. Is it? Euclid oh. Avenue. They, I don't think there's a store there. No, there's nothing going on there. If you want a sandwich, a guy pulls up in a van and he makes them there. There's no, there's no breakfast place. That's what we did the comedy show out of the diner on Euclid Avenue. Remember? Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sounding particularly moist today. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to have a it's discussion a about Cleveland. He swallowed, yeah, he swallowed Lake Erie yeah. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I have no. You really are sounding a little, you know, his, his, saliva. His teeth are floating away as we speak, right, Kyle? Are you think? You know, is it your mouth thinking about? Uh, well, these what are, are you going to have done? These are all these teeth <laughs> right here. Is An abomination. We know. <laughs> what Tempor uh, <laughs> a temporary, a temporary bridge. Hold on, I'll show you a picture. Temporary bridge. They pulled the tap and Z. <laughs> But you got uh, pictures of your... Uh, okay. <laughs> Boo. Abu. Uh, Abu. Uh, Abu. It, 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 it goes from his brain they to his They took teeth. out the, the bridge. My old bridge. bridge. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Get with the real medical facts. Don't yeah, right. yeah, right. I'm sorry. Right. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Quince. Sorry. Yeah. It's not like Jimmy's going to be on uh, HBO. Uh, what? Uh, what, Jimmy? Friday night? Down and Dirty starts at midnight? Yeah, it's after there Bill Marshall. Is that... Not my plug. Governors of my cousin Tim Gage. Oh, that's right. This weekend they're yeah. co-headlining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is your teeth underneath the ca the, yeah. the bridge. Yeah, and they're gonna it's pull really those. Holy Jesus! <laughs> it I looks say? like Dresden after the bombing. <laughs> it, it's real. What a mess! Can we send this picture yeah. to. Uh, Look at brain? those. The, I don't know what that is. Wait, were you just talking about Obama? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my. That is something. And uh, send that picture to the stunt. Woof. We'll put it up on Own Day Radio. Well, they're gonna, and then in a it couple looks like weeks. That, it looks like the box for for bum fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bum fight. Wow, that is that's some that's crackhead yeah. teeth yeah. right there. Well, what yeah. happens is once they start putting caps. I'm sorry for stepping on you. I, they start putting caps and stuff on your teeth. Start rot rotting under the caps and under the mm -hmm. bridges and stuff. So my the teeth that were holding the bridge up, the original, yeah. started rotting. But Dr. Gottman right now is going to pull them. Right there, yeah. he got some money off, by the way. I just want to let you know, he mentioned the doctor's it name. It really is Rosh Hashanah. So Did he... I? <laughs> They're out in full force. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get money off. I just said his name. Why? Yeah, well, that's, a, that's all you got to do. I said Irving's name. What is it bad? I mean, what's going to be a deal? Fine. Uh, I, if it's against <laughs> law, I didn't mean to do it. 
but there's two dentists. Doing my teeth would fall out if it wasn't for my doctor. Do- listen, <laughs> I mean, what, what happens is <laughs> Doctor Gottsman t- pulls the teeth, and Doctor Holden builds, makes me the new one. Why did yeah. Bonnie went in there and said, "I want you to use all your powers, <laughs> all your talents, all your skills." I don't want the audience to hear him this way. <laughs> <laughs> Look how they massacred his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can they? Uh, why did they do that before? What do you mean? Have your teeth put in the in, drilled in your head? Or whatever they're going to do now? Yeah. Well, back when I had the original bridge, yeah, you spent thousands was, was of dollars. Was done by a Dr. Mengele? You might have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> I had they, one blue eye, I don't, one brown eye, and bad teeth. He did it all. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you spend on your teeth already? Oh well. Over probably it, this will after bucks. this is done, it'll probably be about fifty to seventy thousand. It's so stupid. 000. Well, Why? It's thirty thousand. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean throughout the years? I don't know. Just get them fixed and... once and then brush them. Just get your head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> get your head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus. <laughs> so what are they going to do? What they're going to do now? Mm-hmm. Which one, Gotsman or Holden? I when, oh, when it's boy. done, I don't care which one is, is going to go in yeah. and, and do it's, something. When, it's, when it's, you walk it's, out, is that the morning show you're doing in Cleveland to promote <laughs> hilarity? Yeah. I Lay. asked you a question. Which yeah. one, Gotsman or Holden? <laughs> Gotsman or Holden? That would be a radio show worth listening oh. to. Yeah. Oh, what they're going to do is yeah. The two, there's two teeth here. He's pointing right. his front teeth. And there's, He's pointing his there's a couple on the back. Same. Right. Yeah. So when I go in the 20th, mm-hmm. they're going to pull some of the back. Pull them and maybe start drilling into my gums up into my bone. Oh. And put, oh my <laughs> they're going to drill, put implants yeah. and drill into your... They put like anchors bubble. in there and then they smack the teeth on the anchors? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's called like a foundation. It's like when to, you were building. Gotcha. Do they have you know. to? Do they have to put the drill for each tooth. No one drill, and then it spreads. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Yuck mouth. How do I know? <laughs> yeah. How do I know? When you're that at that junkyard, you call it yap. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked up floss and I headed out the door. <laughs> Almighty, you've spent more on your teeth than you've made in your career. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know if they drill for implants. They drill every one as an implant, or they drill a couple and anchor it, like you said, anchor, and then all of a sudden the rest kind of stay that way. What they'll do is they'll put probably like four oh implants. In oh, and they'll put like maybe eight teeth on the four implants. Now, have they taken oh, a, right. a, an impression? Yes, a dental a impression. Yeah. But but of the teeth that you're ha- you have now. So are the new ones yes. going to be exactly like these? Or no, are you going to say, are, Doc, take yes. a little off the bottom? Well, these ones aren't big now. These are the uh, temporary plate that goes across that, my mouth. You've had bigger, that's for sure. The yeah. other ones <laughs> look like Matt Dillon and something about Mary. Nobody got those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> when you have to say remember after a joke. <laughs> no, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Uh, All right, don't come on. Oh, look, but these are... The one thing the dentist never has to say to us is rinse. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we're going to uh, take a break. No one really gives a crap about your teeth, Rich, as he tries to explain. We're just using you to get the jokes out. He's just <laughs> not getting. A, he's not giving a good uh, explanation. Wow, you what wouldn't you tell which doctor you wanted to talk about. Which I doctor? Yeah. Oh, doctor! It's like I don't care what doctors do. What when you walk in the door? What happens between the time you walk in the door and out the door? After the That's laughter, all. after the laughter from the uh, nursing yeah. staff, <laughs> they have in the waiting room eating oats. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a little hay. We'll bring it in 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, listen, we got to take a break. I want to promote uh, Jim Dorn. He's going to be on HBO this Friday night at midnight. Yeah, that's we'll, get, right. we'll get to the other plugs after the break, but Down and Dirty starts Friday yeah. night after Bill Maher, and we want to like make sure we get the word out. And yes. Richard Mar- Rich's teeth reminded me of something, by the way. The Belmont Stakes. Uh, this- <laughs> <laughs> I now go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. Cause you're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who hilarious To hurt me with goodbye Cause you think i crumble Do you think i lay down and die Oh no not I <laughs> Welcome back to the open that, Do I still sound like that or does that sound different <laughs> No that's different uh, This was this guy yeah. like Hey Ken yeah. Oba Smoke three packs a day too Yeah wow You'd probably be dead by now Three, three packs be. Wow Definitely would be yeah. Yeah. You weren't a very good singer I know. <laughs> Literal Jim. <gym. laughs>
<laughs> we got Colin Quinn in studio. We got Rich Voss in studio. Rich, are you sleepy? Everyone's uh, no, I'm concerned wa- about you. I'm I'm awake. I mean, I got. You'll never tell. Things. They sleep standing up. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> and 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 Rich is still arguing that he's not carrying around a a, a woman's bag. It is Rich. It's, it's, it's can, can I get a picture after the website? Yeah. Lift yeah. it up in the air. It's and we'll, whales, have, uh, we'll have people decide. Let's see. How do you carry it? Wait, move over. Like that? He carries it like Charlotte from Sex in the City. <laughs> Here, move over. I will just say it looks queer. Oh God, you're not kidding. Oh, Voss, come on. Rich. I thought they were stretching for this one. No. Yeah. That is really so fast. Don't block it so much. Turn sideways. Let me see exactly. the side view. That is like, oh, my God. <laughs> what are you posing for a catalog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. He had a. Colin, he had one that he came JC in with. JC Dummies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Louis. I think, you know, I think a, my father's listening today. What? <laughs> it's a Louis Vuitton bag, right? Yes. And he brought in a, a worse one. We killed him so he got rid of it, and, and he replaces it with this one, which oh, is just as bad. That's Gosh. the masculine version in his mind. <laughs> this is a computer, it's a computer bag. A lot of the, <laughs> lot of the bag. I've never seen it. It's got Clay Aiken's website on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't have it today, man. <laughs> I told you you're tired today. I I'm not tired. It's just, I but can't compete. Rich, I've never seen. I mean, and and Rich forced us to go to the website to prove that it's a it's a this bag one, this that, one's a nice that one. men carry. But I've, I've oh, that's no. unbelievable. I've never seen anyone no. in New York carry one of those bags. A, le- a less gay bag would be one across the bridge of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you're carrying two sweaty onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right on. <laughs> it really is really ill. T- I mean, who did, did Bonnie approve that? How did you screen that? Bonnie bought, <laughs> Bonnie bought this for Christmas for me. She did. Yeah. She bought it for herself and decided she didn't like it. And just <laughs> I'll gave tell it you to the you. problem is, as much as I love Bonnie and she's beautiful, but she is a Canadian hayseed herself. She doesn't know what's trendy. <laughs> hey, she be all the magazine because her family's probably like, eh, hey, all MGs are homos anyway, honey. Don't worry about it. Just get them a bag. <laughs> Rich, that bag costs thirteen hundred dollars. Fifteen. He's oh, fifteen. $1,500? What are you doing? It's awful. It's, it's, it's get a bowling bag. It's, it's horrible. Why would you carry around a $1,500 chicks do that? Exactly. Are you a stripper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your G-strings in there? I mean, what? Uh, what am I going to do? It, it, get rid of it. You can be a man! <laughs> I paid four hundred for my. You act like a man. What's the matter with you? I paid four hundred for my computer bag, and it's got wheels on it, and it rolls, and it yeah. puts everything. In. And it looks like a real like piece of luggage. Yeah, something that something Not with fast. a penis would would roll. That's what it looks like. Something a, a man would would take around to do his business. I think better have come with fourteen hundred ninety five bucks in it. <laughs> this is not just a, <laughs> this is not just a let's gang up on somebody bag. That really is a horrendous purchase. <laughs> yes. It's not a purse. Purchase. Not, purchase. Oh, purchase. purchase. It is kind of it is purse. purse. I don't it's a purse it. when it comes out of your wet mouth. <laughs> purse. Trish. It's, it was a gift. <laughs> this is a... You un- should have thrown it back and said, honey, don't ever waste our money again. The times are hard. I'm in hilarity. <laughs> this, is, this is an unfair fight today. We might, no, we yeah. might have to stop the fight. It yes, is. but that bag I'll, I'll was bad. Strong you usually point. fight back, Rich. What's the Dog pile on the rabbit. Dog <laughs> pile on the rabbit. That's what it's like in here. It's just everyone on Rich. His eyes look sleepy and heavy. <laughs> you want to take a nap and join us at 8 o'clock? No. <laughs> join <laughs> us. <laughs> Some days you don't have it. To, some, or you just sit in a corner and you you come oh, out boy. and you try to get the knockout at some point. <laughs> but I'm I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to Colin, I'm out of my league and I just sit and enjoy it. Oh, and, uh, get out of here! Oh, yeah. now he's making it seem like all right. You beat me up, but no it's one cool. Likes his mock humility. No, I fun? know. Pull a tampon out of your purse and put that in. <laughs> <laughs> Making me sick. You have a rape whistle in there. <laughs> it's a man's bag. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Yeah. It's Barney awful. Frank has one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well, we're putting the picture up on. Uh, <laughs> oh, the way he's on posed a. with this Radio. thing. Oh, uh, oh God! Look how you're posed. Yeah, we'll have the picture up in a second. You're passing this around like it's oh like we're cops. Do you have shoes that match? Oh, it's horrible. Mm. This is the worst thing I've ever. He read. has. He has evolved to one of you guys in no time. A, you know, a couple weeks ago, he was just going to websites, and now he's smashing me. Shut up, and when we ask your opinion, that's when you jump in, okay, computer boy? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have shoes that match that gay bag? 
Uh oh, he tried it again. Oh Rich. boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm looking pretty good though. Oh. Great. It does look a little big. It's not just big, Rich. What, it's that big, design is only used by women. <laughs> big and feminine. Big is okay. Feminine is the problem we have with it. Yeah. No one said that bag is too large for your small frame. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I think Bonnie. Bonnie. I think it's I a look. subconscious move on Bonnie's part, but yeah. I haven't figured out what yet. Yeah, we're it's a further emasculated guy who's really annoying her. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I went to. I went to. The I guess sometimes the simplest route is the truest. I went to the hilarities uh, website and. Uh, Oof. And they, this is what they have to say about Rich Voss, because he's going to be there this weekend. Is it true that look Hilarity's at, look website... Look at how I, I, I smoothed oh. that plug right in there. Oh, we, nice, right? Is, is it, it true that Hilarity's website, the song playing is Cleveland Rocks? <laughs> <laughs> Can we hear the bell every time there's a lie in this bio? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to you take <laughs> this, Jim? No, 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 right. I want you to read it, but I want... I you want, want me to go from the top? Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, Anthony will be ringing the bell every time there's a lie. <laughs> uh, let's not forget that uh, Rich, very, very funny on a, on a, on a stage there and, and on the show. I, yeah, we got to give you some props today. Hilarities in Cleveland this weekend. This is the bio. Rich Voss is is an incredibly gifted comic. <laughs> <laughs> I know when it was incredible. It wasn't going to be a hole, so I had to ring the bell. <laughs> Who not only has sharp, insightful material, but he's also a master at working the crowd. That's true. I got to give him that. Yeah. Right? I have sightful uh, material. His ability to you, hold on. Did he say I have sightful material? <laughs> what was the uh, What was the statement? <laughs> Nobody acknowledged he talked. What was the statement? Minutes. Could you read that back, stemographer? <laughs> <laughs> you have sightful material. <laughs> Insightful. Uh, his ability <laughs> His ability to perform in front of an audience has landed him television shows as varied as being the first white comic on Def Jam. Did it say varied or I don't believe that. and unimpressive? He doesn't believe that he's white. Uh, <laughs> I just don't believe it because we actually had Russell Simmons well, really on and he said he doesn't remembers. even remember you. Yeah, we, you got to prove it with some video. You Dummy remember Norton was there. Yeah, was he? Yes. To performing on The View. <laughs> yes. Of course, Arlene DeCoutre. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the breakout star of NBC's Last Comic Standing, seasons one and three, with a regular guest on Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn. I don't see an opening. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay going to scold you oh. uh, on tough crowd with Colin, uh, tough crowd with Colin Quinn and wrote for Chris Rock when he hosted the Academy Awards in 2005. He did that, do that. Though. No, he I got paid know. for it, but he kind of <laughs> sh yeah. he parasited you on Chris Rock and got a free <laughs> gift bag. <laughs> uh, he also played Lenny Bruce on NBC's American Dreams and is a regular on the Opie and Anthony radio show. Uh. He has one of the highest rated half hour specials on Comedy Central and his DV just sold over. 40 copies. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that while you're still on 37. <laughs> you can't round up. Over 40 copies. I put that in. Yeah, I know. Kind of I put that in. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> He's all proud of himself. I put that one in. I told oh. Larity's publicity. I said, you guys got to let me have some autistic license. What are you doing? <laughs> you put, at least relax and put the mic by your mouth there, I know, Colin. Exactly. Pretend it's food. <laughs> hey, Colin, what are you doing over there? Colin's just laying back. Colin, you start out. You start out really strong here. Yeah, well, you, you can't fall asleep now. Don't worry, I'm, I'm still in the game. You're that's laying down, though. Do, that's how I want to do the show every day. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, I so what? just want to lay down. I laid in bed. Get ready to have a harpoon thrown at you. <laughs> 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 oh, right on, man. oh, damn. Boss is good in the middle rounds. <laughs> you better be on your game, Colin. He's coming back. Let's go to Mike in New York. Mike Gay. Hey, morning, boys. Uh, hey, Rich, do you really have any idea what you're about to go through with these teeth? Uh, I mean, has the guy explained to you that they'll be peeling back your gums all the way down to the bone and that uh, basically your gums will look like Mick Jagger's lips and... I think you said you're a recovering addict who doesn't like, who may have a problem taking pain medicine. Mm. If that's the case, my friend, you are in big Rich, trouble. He, he does bring up a good point because this is a painful procedure. Uh, what are you going to do about pain medication? Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. I've uh, 30, 30 years without a drink or drug in my 22, body. 22. How long? 22? 22 going on 23. Uh, and he's right. It is a painful thing I heard. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're allowed, if you're in recovery, you're allowed to do if you're prescribed painkillers. Uh -oh. I mean, but if you start, like, if they prescribe you Percocet or Percodan and you start melting them and shooting them, that's a relapse. I actually had, for, for my, uh, when I had my, my nose surgery, they gave me, uh, well, I, I forget what it was, but I took less than I was supposed to. Like, you take a little yeah. less the dosage, and when I would skip Queer. a pill... 
When you get when you do your chin implant, are they going to give you? Or... <laughs> well, they uh, um, maybe they could use your extra teeth. It's yeah. only one like Leno. Oh, yeah. Why you just take? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I took less. I don't know if I would skip a dose. Like if I, ah, I don't need pain medicine for this four hours, I would just take the pill and throw it out. Like I wouldn't stock. Oh, that's pretty good. No stockpiling. Is this like that caller still on the line? Yeah. If you want to throw them out at my house, I have no uh, there was nothing, qualms there was about nothing. it. It was like Vicodin. Well, like, yeah, I mean, Vicodin. I'm kidding, wasn't it? <laughs> it's, it's Vicodin. <laughs> yeah, I had Vicodins, but I didn't take them. Not they gave them to me for... Uh, yeah? Yeah. Well, one time I had a root canal, and my face, it, it got infected. If you Sometimes if you don't take penicillin, so my whole face, it, it, it swelled up, mm. and then... I went in there and they took a plier and squeezed my gums <laughs> to, to get the pus out. <laughs> they God, put a plier and it was so painful. I don't even know. It was so bad, right? Oh. Uh, and then I had to do. I had to tape a TV show that night, uh, Friday wow. night videos, and wow. I wasn't going to cancel because it was like six hundred bucks back then. No, you know? thank God you didn't. You know? <laughs> Look what it's done for you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're putting yourself to sleep. Uh, let's go to Max. You're right. It's not that story about your time in the root canal. That wouldn't put anyone to sleep. <laughs> the squeezing with Christ. the pliers and the pus. That's a good story. Oh, it just sure Christ. is, Rich. Let's go to Max in Atlanta. Sure Max. Is, Rich. What's up, Max? Hey, Opie. How you doing? Pretty good, Max. Hey, uh, isn't it kind of like letting Rich Voss talk on the show like giving a third world country nuclear weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Rich, comment. Rich. Why Why would you get on Rich like that? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, let's go to Georgia and say hi Which to Brandon. Funny. Brandon, we got a twofer from Georgia here. What's up, Brandon? I just want to say to Voss, uh, what's wrong with the teeth we got? They do pretty good, don't they? Two stars. <laughs> corner stars. <laughs> French posts. Uh, I just got an email. Easter Island heads. Rowing oars. Mexican cave. <laughs> Stonehenge. <laughs> what's some of those other teeth we got? Molar. <laughs> Bicuspid, <laughs> incisor, eye teeth, vampire, <laughs> canine. <laughs> canine, you said. Canine. Good job, Danny. So, how yeah. long are you out of commission for when they drill that stuff into your. Miller? Mola? Yeah, hold on. We got <laughs> to bring more people more people to the to the bit. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, here we go. The uh, beer we have, it drank pretty good. Budweiser. Uh, what's the name of some of them other beer? Budweiser and what is it? Miller. Miller. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, it drank pretty good, don't it? <laughs> Vote. <laughs> Vote for me. Those, <laughs> those are the way to win Voss's first Def Jam set. <laughs> <laughs> those are the what? The waiters. <laughs> Sorry, Voss's <laughs> Def Jam set. <laughs> what's wrong with the beer we got? And Colin is doing this on his back. Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> like, like most of his work. I don't really get it, but yeah. no, I know. Yeah. Rich, that was, what is he, Michelangelo? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're keeping it fun. You had to go there. And yeah. What are we, were you implying? He was a prostitute. Yeah. Let's keep this yeah. fun. That was <laughs> easy. That was hurtful. <laughs> works on his back. He works on his back. How's the action on your mother's mattress? Action. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got we got something for Rich today. Uh, this is uh, for you, my friend. For you. They call me up my cause I don't rush. Oh, black my teeth like this. They call me up my no, I won't slowly. rush. How's about a little kiss? I got no beef in my teeth. Got some chicken too. Ouch! That's a cavity. Hey, that's new. Well, if you don't brush your teeth, then get you to can be a yuck mouth. <laughs> I'm John McCain, and I approve this message. <laughs> the best is in the middle of voices and down to work when Bonnie leans over in his face and goes, I'm leaving you when I'm taking the kid with me. He just leaves. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, hold on a second. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> That's going to happen, I hope. Oh, you <laughs> hope? Why yeah, would you hope that? We're, 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 we're wishing for the same things. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 hey, are you awake during that surgery? You're numb or awake, or they told you totally out? I think Novocaine. I think you're oh awake. Oh my God! They go into your bone with Novocaine? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's kind of the opposite of what happens to you without Novocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. He's on his way back. Uh, he is.
You ever they get that shot that they give you right in the nerve in your jawbone? Where it numbs the entire side of your head. And then why do they have to do this? Uh, oh, they pull the, and kind of go... With the cheek? With your cheek. That's supposed to make the needle not hurt as much. Yeah, right. But then they get it, like, if they got to do something on the, the back of your jaw, they hit a nerve that numbs, like, half your head. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Hey, uh, let's say hi to... <laughs> Just like this little story was. Well, you know, let's say hi to Matt in Boston, listening on BCN. Matt! Hey, guys. Good hey. evening. I love all the cheap stuff, but everybody's got to be talking about the two old ladies in Shrewsbury who won their court case, and now they can't cut down the tree. Really? They can't cut it down? Yep, the uh, judge ruled in their favor. Mm. I hear they're also not getting evicted. Uh, this is a story we've been following for a while there, Colin. I have you heard about the old broads up there in Shrewsbury? No, I have not. Oh, uh, where's the audio clip? We got a, 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 an excuse to play the audio clip one more time, but we, we spoke of this one. Tree. We got we got the uh, we we got the update here. Two elderly women who tied themselves to a crab apple tree to pr protest its removal have rescued the tree and saved themselves from eviction. Yay! The story has a good ending. <clears throat> it's happy. Seventy-four-year-old uh, Leah and sixty-five-year-old Pat spent several Pat. days tied to the tree. What about Ethel? Uh, Ethel was, uh, name, she wasn't right? committed. She really wasn't committed to tying herself to the uh, no. crab apple tree. Uh, they tied uh, themselves to the tree for several days there, Colin. No. Uh, challenging a decision by the Shrewsbury Housing Authority to cut it down uh, to relocate a trash bin. After their protest, they received eviction notices. M on Monday, uh, let's see, Leah. And Pat, and a third woman, that must be Ethel. Ethel. Uh, who was threatened with eviction for violating the complex's uh, policy by keeping a chair on her porch, met with blah, blah, blah. Their lawyer, blah, 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 blah. They're not going to be evicted. That's, uh, that's, uh. But, uh, we talked with the, one of these women. We did. Uh, live on the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're getting a big guest now, huh? She <laughs> was, uh, she was wonderful. <laughs> what a treat. Just full of life. She was a delight. Oh, a delight. The yeah. old, the old hag. Yeah. And uh, she's from England originally, mm -hmm. but she moved uh, here, and um, she has after a unique... After the war. Yes, after the It was after the war. She had talked about the Blitz. Yes. And Revolutionary. All the, yeah. <laughs> she, she had talked about all that stuff, and um, she, her accent makes her say a few things very uh, differently oh. than we do. I can't believe Colin hasn't heard this yet. Listen, listen to this. Play it. I'll see if I heard it. As she describes uh, their plight. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option Jill? than cutting down a tree. <laughs> and I can't see yeah. why they can't fix <laughs> the dumpster, why they can't fix the pad. I mean, I'd like to know <laughs> them to tell me why they can't fix the pad. All it is is a cement pad. I'm sure if I was young, I could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. If we comment on that, we'll uh, we'll be in trouble. But there you go. That's a unique way of saying uh, the I word saw can't. Her. I saw her. she was on here last week, right? The little, little Britain. Oh, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. <laughs> can I? Can I play? Didn't David Blaine times up for a tree. <laughs> I wish he would, <laughs> through a noose. <laughs> <laughs> can you I shouldn't say that he's biracial. Oh, that's true. I didn't even uh, think of that. Yeah, right. Although he's lighter skin than Voss. I want to apologize to uh, anyone I might have offended with that comment. I didn't mean Let's anything with humor. Uh, Lenny plant sprayer. Let's talk about plant sprayer Tan Voss. <laughs> I, think I just picture him in his house with a plant sprayer. Oh, plant Bonnie, sprayer Tan? Bonnie, you missed the spinal section. Please, just a little lower. <laughs> It doesn't look even. <laughs> now they just, they just lay him down naked and run him through like it's in a, in a, a Detroit uh, auto maker place. Oh, God. <laughs> I had the, oh, did you fall apart had, on that one? I had the visual. Of, that was a very president. Yeah. Was a very presidential of you. Another thing that has to do with an auto. <laughs> <laughs> auto factory. I got a six-year-old Mercedes. I tip a guy a hundred dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> what, were you, what did you want to play? Uh, oh. Well, it, it's just that it's on the same uh, CD, and it's one of our favorites, the the, the Screaming Tree People. Oh, yeah. yeah have you heard yes. this one, Colin? The Screaming Trees? Yes. You did hear <laughs> no, this one? Not the band. No, not, not the, the band. band. No, I did hear you. Every guys time Colin cl this, this climbs one. That was Why would he hurtful. climb one? Why would yeah. I? I don't know. Do you Why think those things through? What are you doing, Red? How would it hurt? We're trying tree. to keep it all fun here. Yeah, the trees don't mind. Not a crying that. tree either. It's people that are crying. <laughs> We've established <laughs> a couple of things, Rich. Climbing. A, you're carrying a woman's pass. So you're playing for the pink team. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier when you're sitting up. 
Yeah, I know. Really. All right, Colin. I'll get up. Everyone's just jealous because I get to lie down. Yeah. You're- <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin is uh, sitting back up. That's good news. Uh, do, do, do you want to hear the, the the crying tree people again? Or Gosh. No? Yeah, I love that. All I right. love the girl crying. Ah. Deep in the woods of North Carolina, an extremist eco group called Earth First bewails the violation of American nature. I want to mourn the loss of all the old growth trees I've seen and tell them that we love them and that we don't want them. You die. They get mad and when Voss chews them down. Here, <laughs> you Sounds like a girl no, leaving I Norton's want apartment. You to know that, <laughs> that we care. No, uh, Norton's Norton's uh, girls leave like the hookers in American Psycho. Remember that, <laughs> remember that look out. on their face? <laughs> that look of disgust. He just hands them money. Grabbing the money and then leaving. They have a horrified look on their face. Disheveled and beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Devoid of waste. <laughs> I love that. Why they were trannies in American Psycho? <laughs> Why add on? <laughs> Why? Why? You're like you're like William Macy in the cooler. <laughs> yeah, he cools things down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Little sure. Colin. <laughs> I think we are deeply hurting in America. I think we are deeply craving answers. I think that we've lost our identity as we have evolved into technology and into industrialized society. Bring me to this cathedral. Bring me to those guys. Bring me to this rock that has the most incredible life. That makes me feel alive. I've looked at clear cuts and burnt forest and I felt outraged but I didn't scream and I didn't cry and I need to <laughs> that's somebody I hate to be uh, old fashioned she needs a good she needs a guy in her life just pounding her once in a while that's or, just a or, scream of or, frustration or the tree from the evil dead <laughs> damn I didn't see it oh the tree raped the woman it did yeah it was a very evil tree <laughs> Let's go to Maine. Dean, Where's how are Marshall you? Marshall Applewhite when you need him with those people. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're perfect pickings for that guy. Dean? Just wanted to say, Voss's line was hilarious. I almost drove off the road. Linger longer. Wait, which line? About the tree screaming when Colin Klein. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think he's calling in jest. No, he isn't. No, I don't it think so. Awesome. Tree screaming what? Thank you. Uh, boy, boy. Tree Thank screaming you. in what? When you were climbing it. Oh, I don't even get yeah. it. He was implying okay. that you're really heavy and that the tree would scream that you were, oh. like that you were on it. Colin, you're yeah. you're confusing everyone. Now you've got your coat half on. You're staying. You're going. You, you want to... Jeez, he's like, what's his name from uh, Raging Bull? Hey, what are you in a hurry to get out of here? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Tommy, I'm laying down. I'm sitting on... Colin's just being Colin. Yeah, 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 I'm always like this. Yeah. Yeah. What's the big plug, Colin? <laughs> And it is a big one. Governor's Comedy Club in Levittown, Long Island, with nice. my cousin Tim Gage. And we don't, no, uh, no Kumias need apply because uh, they're not getting tickets. We don't like the way you push this around as kids. I am uh, showing up. I am. First of all, my cousin never has never been allowed near Northport, so I don't know how your brother could have beat him up. <laughs> we're from Northport. It takes real dirtbag Long Island to qu- to claim North. If you really had class, you'd say we're from Cold Spring Harbor, but they won't even try that. So they're no. saying Northport. Northport kind of covers the whole area. <laughs> I Although I did live in Central Iceland for a while. Right. Yes. CI. <laughs> CI. Is it a Ooh. dump? Oh! oh God damn, it's Horrendous. so bad. That's my favorite really thing. I lived the in the f- garden apartments there on Hawthorne <laughs> Avenue. What a horrible, <laughs> horrible place. Yeah. It was like projects, but only your little kids living in them. Like getting beat fun. up. It was like some kind of it was like <laughs> that Bugsy Malone movie. <laughs> where, where it's like adults. Kids playing adults. That's what it was like. You're still getting beat up. There's kids doing drugs, shaking you down. <laughs> oh, I love it. Every time Anthony goes off on And he, you did promise me a Jimmy Jackson story. Yes, How about a Jimmy Jackson gotta, story after the break? Even if I got to remember a good one because I, I, I did tell the one about when he built the chariot and yeah. ran it down to the main drag of, the, of San Juan Capistrano. Right. And the horse ran between two parked cars and the chariot didn't fit. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just decided to build a chariot. And after the break, yeah, the dead horse story. I told him that, Joe. Well, <laughs> after the after the break, a Jimmy Jackson story. Even if it's uh, even if it's one you you, you told, because to I'm remember. sure you'll add uh, a little bit to the oh, to the, to the old story. Okay. All right. First, uh, we got uh, prime time with a little gossip. We're back, and the rumors are flying a mile a minute here at PTG Central. We recently let you know that Opie made a major announcement a few days ago on the ONA show. Someone very, very, very important to this radio show is leaving. It's not myself, it's not Anthony, it's not Jimmy. And while the conspiracy theories have been all over the place, we here at Primetime Gossip have found the audio that uncovers exactly which effeminate producer is leaving the ONA show. Uh, Travis wants to say something before we leave. What? Travis That's wants to say something. He has a big announcement. Uh, Oh, I thought we were doing this next week. Next, what did? Huh? Ooh, what was that, Opie? Oh, I thought God. we were doing this next week. That's right. The proof is in the pudding. Thanks to Opie dropping hints, we now know that queer little Travis is the one who is leaving the show. Thanks for the memories, Trav. Good luck making little to no impact somewhere else. Next, what did? Huh? Keep it locked as PTG continues to follow this developing story. We'll get into that a little later. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Opie and Anthony on your radio dial. We got Rich Voss in studio. Oh. Hilarities, Cleveland this weekend. Colin Quinn, Governors this weekend. Jim Norton, HBO this weekend. Friday night. Friday night after Bill Maher. Speaking of uh, Bill Maher, he's uh, he's the star of the new uh, movie Religious. Yep. And we had the director, uh, Larry Charles, in yesterday. And we were hoping to get this uh, uh, yesterday. We were hoping to get a little... A little back and forth going with Larry Charles and Bill Donahue, but we couldn't get Bill on the phone. I think uh, Bill was hiding on us. Bill, were you hiding on us yesterday? Actually, I wasn't. I was seeing a doctor out in Long Island. I wish I could have been with you. Uh-oh, there are people out there cheering. What, what uh, big problem? No, no, no. I'm oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, of course, Bill Donahue, uh, the head of the Catholic League, and uh, Larry Charles, you know, he's got this mo new movie coming out. And there's a lot of uh, talk about the movie, a lot of buzz, and we, we were hoping to get you on the phone to get some... Uh, some yelling and screaming going. <laughs> yelling and screaming. With, with me? With Bill Donahue? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I've that once in a while. Have you seen the movie yet, Bill? No, but uh, Susan Fonny, our director of communications, saw it last week. Uh, we were out there with our Jewish friends protesting that <laughs> bomb from Iran, Ahmadinejad. <laughs> and, uh, she Allah Allah Allah. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Someone was speaking some foreign language. I was speaking Farsi at you. Yeah, yeah that, that, the Iranian madman, that, that SOB who came into New York and these fools greeted him at a big dinner. I would have thrown up all over my all over the place and, and I'd see this don't, guy. Don't you find it odd he's treated like a rock star here? He's like, oh, I, I don't know why. I mean, th this guy is from hell. Why would you want to have dinner with the devil? Bill, do you really think that he's this dangerous or is he more of a guy who's trying to, like, just keep that uh, that radical contingency happy? Uh, you know, is he more just like a, a loud spokesman? You know what? Let's not take the chance. If this, this guy, we have now evidence from ten different nations independently that he is engaged in uranium enrichment, that he's going forward with the nuclear uh, program. If that, in fact, is the case, which has led to three sanctions by the Security Council of the United Nations, we have to take him serious. I mean, who wants to be called bluff if this guy does act at some point and tries to destabilize the world? And it's not like he's just talking about things. and like, He's so anti-Semitic. No, no, he <laughs> is, but Kim Jong-il wanted uh, attention from the U.S., so he made those silly threats, and he wanted certain things. Uh, and it's almost like if this guy wants certain things in a relationship with the West, that's the best way to do it is to pipe up until we acknowledge it and, and deal we with it. We can't mess with North Korea. You I know that, right? But, yeah. but North Korea is bad yeah. enough, but the, the situation in the Middle East is a tinderbox, which you could really draw us in big time. So I, 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 I don't know. I, I just think you've got to keep your guard up. And besides that, my, our whole pro pro pet protest was about one thing. Why are people throwing their dinner honoring this man? It's one thing to have him into the U.N., which I don't even think he should be in the U.N. Mm. if he wants to knock out a sovereign state, namely Israel. But if you're going to have him in the U.N., why do you have to have a dinner honoring him? It, this, this is amazing to me. Yeah, I don't know why they, they really, people are just taken by this guy. Uh, I know, literally back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good one. Well, yeah. I just He's thought not, about it for a minute. He looks like Ricky Roma. He's not <laughs> You're queer, we're all queer. <laughs> get, get, get him a But we kill our queers. He's not bluffing. Israel already blew up his first nu nuclear plant he was building. Well, I don't think he was building it at the time. 
Oh, Jesus, Rich. Well, Iran was. Iran. Yeah, I told you. Took it out in 81. Yeah, yeah in 81. So exactly. And, and Voss just got the news, Bill, like last week. <laughs> That's why he's bringing it up. The show is he's trying to update his game. When Voss was celebrating yes. his 20th year in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently the Shaw has come down with something. <laughs> uh, so now, Bill, uh, this movie, um, it kind of uh, really takes a look at religion and doesn't present it in a very... Uh, um, nice way, uh, especially the Catholic religion. I'm surprised by their response, actually. Yeah, and I, and I want to start by saying, uh, why didn't you yourself see the movie? You, you had one of your people go see it and report back to you, and then and then you comment about her report. Well, as I said, I, I was at uh, an, an event where my friend Beth Galinsky, uh, a woman international, and uh, also runs Jews uh, uh, Jewish Action League, uh, longtime friends of mine in the Jewish community, asked me to... Uh, represent Catholic, so to speak, at this event, and I thought that was more important. It was a one-time event, and I'd okay. let Susan go through this this horror show of listening to uh, Mar. Actually, as it turned out, from what I got from Susan, is that uh, it wasn't as hateful as I expected. See, look, I have, a, I have a kind of like a Mel Brooks standard when I look at these comedies. I mean, Mel Brooks made kind of innocent, joking fun of almost every demographic group in our society. He never singled one out, and he never did it in a vicious way below the belt. Uh, Bill Maher, unfortunately, in the past, has chosen just the Catholic Church to demonize, and he's done it in a vicious way. In this particular movie, I guess he has one leg into the Mel Brooks camp. That is to say that he doesn't single out the Catholic Church, so that there's some relief there. However, um... And I have to say, we, we expected it to be worse in the sense of the vicious mm. statements that he's made about priests or getting to core religious beliefs. He, he kind of took a more of a theater of the absurd type of an approach, which, in other words, our expectations were that it would be worse than, than what it was. Oh, okay. Wow, that actually yeah. sounds like an endorsement. That'll be in the papers. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not an endorsement. I mean, <laughs> Bill Donahue you know, says, we thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> well, you, you know what I, what I get a kick out of? He says, for example, I mean, he seems to be a tortured soul, Bill, because he comes out and he says, well, you know, Jesus didn't exist, or and then he goes on citing Jesus. Well, what the hell is it? And he says that, for example, Jesus didn't preach against homosexuality. Well, what difference would it make if he's not the son of God, and at one point in the movie he says, in fact, he doesn't exist, then how mm. can you play this card? I mean, some of the stuff that he was doing is quite irrational, and he wants to call people of faith irrational. But, Bill, let's be honest. This is Colin Quinn, as you you know who I am. Anyway, um, no? Anyway. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> That's good, by the way. Bill, yeah, hold on. Do you, you don't know, want, you don't Bill, want to do be you know, on his radar. You, you know, know who I am, Bill. Is? Did you watch TV in the mid to early 80s? <laughs> Uh, you had to get up and change Bill, the Bill, Bill, don't let them, don't let them, you know as well as I do, without seeing this movie, I guarantee he does two minutes on, uh, on Islam, he does two minutes on the, uh, celebrators of today, we got one in the studio, Rosh Hashanah, you know what I'm saying, and then he does an hour and a half on Catholics, let's quit pretending it's otherwise, right? Well, there's no question he's got he's got this fixation on the Catholic Church. And, no, it's uh, not a fixation on the Catholic Church. Everybody tries to talk tough about other religions when it comes to Islam. They're scared of a Danish cartoon riot. Well, that that's what really gets me. I mean, you've had it's people fake killed edge. because of that, and and you know, an inoffensive depiction of Muhammad leads to this, this incredible type of reaction. Uh, that's the same group that World Council of Churches would host at Ahmadinejad last week. They said, yes, the cartoons were bad, and so was the violence. Well, thanks a lot, folks. They're not exactly identical. Yeah, there's exactly. the cowardice of Random House, not even to publish a novel about Muhammad because yes. some radical Muslims wouldn't. I mean, it's yeah, relativity, yeah, based on fear. The, 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 the duplicity is absolutely astounding on this thing. And, you know, these guys, uh, uh, Parker and Stone, have, have, and, and you guys, Opie and Anthony, have, you guys have made reference to this kind of stuff before. And, uh, right. you know, uh -huh. and, and I think that people have at least just own up and say, listen, mm. there are certain groups that are off limits, and it's because of fear. Bill, why did yeah, you yeah. own up and admit you know who I am? Bill. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Sick and tired that is of this. Bill. You. It bugs me that an Irish guy from Long Island wouldn't know who I am. It bugs yeah. me. He, why? He's busy. Bill, this I'm is, Colin Quinn. Bill, oh, this is Rich oh. Foss. Do you know who I am? Rich Foss. It doesn't matter. Rich, <laughs> when you said Rich fear. Rich is on a, uh, when you said fear. Oh, did you see uh, the horse whisperer? He was the star of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You might recognize uh, his teeth if there were commandments uh, chiseled into him. <laughs> He's a toothy man, Bill. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Bill, Bill, when you said fear, let me tell you what fear means. False evidence appearing real.
<laughs> you know no, that? It's, it's called uh, it's called our friends Abdul who, who, who sharpen their machetes and take your damn head off yeah. if, you, if you offend them. That's what it's called, yeah. and it shouldn't have to come to that before some people like Bill Maher and others uh, slam the brakes. Well, on. Bill, maybe maybe Bill. the Catholics got to get a little tougher and start lopping some heads off. That's right, but like Bill, the Crusades. You're talking to which boss? Do you understand? He claims to be Jewish. He's from a Jewish background. He has a tattoo, which means you can't get buried as a Jew, that says never again, and I'm not kidding. Yeah, never yeah, it's again. quite it's the paradox. It's the paradox First of First of all, idiocy. you can be buried. The paradox that's, of idiocy. That's, that's crazy. It, it, they say you can't be buried for defacing your body. If that's the case, no Jews would be in a cemetery with, with, with all the faceless and those jobs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jewish cemeteries would be like your audience, empty. Okay, oh, Colin. Oh, oh, wow. Colin. Colin. I hope Colin. I hope might you know Colin. In the Gaza Strip. You might know Colin. By six angry Palestinians. Watch Bill go. Oh, now I know who Colin is. The empty clubs. <laughs> yeah. Colin. Oh, lay off. I've been going this weekend. You guys are ruining my gig. Colin worked the corner during the Levy fight. You might recognize him from that. <laughs> All right, so you don't have that big of a problem with this. It's not that big. Oh, by the way, who hosted the Ahmadinejad uh, dinner? Um, the B'nai B'nai. World Council of Churches, the Mennonites, the uh, Quakers out of the UN. Unbelievable. Uh, the American Service uh, Committee. Love their oats, Four though. liberal ca uh, Christian groups. Yeah. Hey, 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 Bill, you were talking about Catholicism uh, going against uh, uh, science. What's, yes. your, what's your take on that whole thing? Well, I mean, you know, you take a look at the historians of science, and they've all credited, and these most of these guys aren't even Catholic, they've, con they've credited the Catholic Church with, with, with pioneering the scientific re revolution, and particularly with regard to the, the pioneering efforts in astronomy. The idea, because they get the bad, bad rap, because Galileo, who sold his ideas when he didn't have proof, as if it were, and one guy gets punished, and the next thing you know, the Catholic Church is anti-science. I mean, that's one of, the, one of the black legends, quite frankly, that comes out of the Protestant <laughs> Reformation, which most people have gotten over by now. Now, but I well, guess it, it works good for David Letterman or somebody. But, uh, Bill, i like to know where you stand on this, too, because this has come up a, a lot recently. What about the um, dinosaurs? Uh, a lot of people are starting to, to say that man and dinosaurs shared the Earth at some point, and uh, science definitely says no. That, that's Colin. He was there. Well, listen, let me, let me say something. I, I, I believe that you teach evolution in the, in the science classes, all right? And what you do in the social science classes that you talk about, there's a debate in the country about it. So, I, listen, there's an academic in me. I spent 20 years teaching, 16 as a college professor, and I, don't, I break with the religious right on this. Uh, keep science in, in the science classes. And then if you want to discuss the controversy that goes on, certainly, by all means, but do that in a social studies class. Hmm. Interesting. And what, yeah. and what about um, some of these know. really school. <laughs> some of these really old religions that have the same story of uh, of Jesus? That was brought up in the film, but only some other you know guy. It's pretty yeah, much the I, same I, story I, of I, death, the same story, resurrection. Right? It's 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 yeah. it's almost the exact same story. I, I don't I don't have the you know the. I, I don't know of any historical evidence which would indicate that there's anyone who, who, who could resemble Christ in terms of the documented evidence that we have of the time. I mean, you've got people like Aristotle long before Christ, and we're all studying his works in the schools. Uh, quite frankly, uh, sure, there have always been some people out there. There's, there's a guy right now, there's a Latino guy who's, who's half out of his rocker who claims to be Jesus Christ. So you've always had these little things out there. He's in the film, this guy. He, he swears he's uh, Jesus. Really? Well, he's making a fortune off it. Yeah, I imagine he probably is. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not going to, I'm not going to confession to that guy. But does he swear to himself? <laughs> Thank you. Thank he swears you. Himself. Were there any Jews involved in this dinner for... Uh... This yes, as a part. matter of fact, there was a, uh, her name is Rabbi Lynn Gottlieb. It's, it's, ah. Yep, and uh, I, have, I have it right in front of me here out of the Jerusalem Post in uh, September 26th. So, yeah, I mean, listen, there's a lot of dirt to go around on these kinds of things. Why anybody would embrace this bum, uh, I don't know. I was on with uh, Matt Lauer a year ago when this guy came into the United Nations, and I said he shouldn't be teaching at Columbia. Matt says, don't you believe in freedom of speech? I said, yeah, that's what we have open forums for you know, Madison Square Garden, the Beacon Theater, Central Park, a university is founded on the pursuit of truth. If we haven't come to the conclusion that what this guy teaches is an out-and-out -out lie, then we might as well close the university. So let him have his speech. If you have to have him in the U.N., let him go there. But why do you have to have a reception for a man like this who, if he had his druthers, uh, he'd kill every Jew on earth? Well, people like Khalid Mohammed used to speak at colleges throughout the country. I know. You know. Uh, and, and and he was the biggest hate monger on the planet. That's a different story. If you spoke out ab about him, it wasn't about what he was saying. It was about uh, racism. 
for some and reason. And I was with my friend Beth Galinsky uh, uh, of the same group, the Jewish Action Alliance, who conducted the Woman International thing. Against she Oscar sounds more like a Polak than a Jew to me. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like she had a radio show for like a minute here. And we were up in Harlem uh, uh, dealing with Khalid Muhammad, who was anti-Catholic, anti-gay, anti-Jewish, anti just about everybody. Everything. He lived in Cliffside Park, New Jersey, didn't he? Yeah. he lived in a really white neighborhood in a white building. All Jews in his building. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he had to move. He was kicked out of the Nation of Islam. I mean, you have to really hate. Which is <laughs> none of us know what the Nation of Islam is. <laughs> Islam. Islam. Whatever. I have fake teeth in right now. The, the words aren't going to come out perfectly. Like the I'm dumb getting used, is broken. I'm getting used to my new teeth. Bill, while you're hanging out with all those Jews, could you find a good dentist for our friend Rich Voss? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I go to the Second Avenue Deli. Hey, Bill, who should we uh, vote for? The, oh, I all, the, all the Catholics I, out there, who should we vote for? I am for? so disgusted with what I've been seeing lately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And with the elites in this country from Wall Street to Main Street, it is... <laughs> oh, oh, hey, there's another one. Right, hold on, hold on. Have you been listening to the show this morning? <laughs> All I know is that I'm picking up the Times this morning, and Jim Cramer right. is on there with this guy Steele from Wachovia here about a week ago saying everything is fine, and Cramer's saying bye, 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 Wachovia, and now he had to apologize on TV? Uh, my oof. God uh, Ooh, that, is, that hurts. Love it. Yeah, yeah, Jim Cramer's. Yeah, Wall Street to Main Street. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's, I, I've heard that too much. And enough street. with the Main Street, Wall Street. Much. What do you think of this Sarah Palin? Oh, I like her. I'm not with George Will and these other snobs out there and David Brooks and David Frum, uh, Kathleen Parker. She doesn't know what she's talking about. There's a lot of, there's a lot of jealousy there because she is out of Main Street and people can identify with her. No, she's not the most experienced person in the block. Now there's Obama for that matter. But if you've got good judgment and character, that can carry a long way. I'm excited about it. The, the bar is raised pretty low now, actually, for her on Thursday, because nobody expects her to do too well. I suspect hmm. that against Joe, the gaff, uh, Biden, she'll do well. But, Bill, don't you think that, uh, I mean, she re do you really trust her when she's a 72-year-old heartbeat away from the White House? Oh, I mean, but right. she, but the oldest cliche. She's not really, I mean, I've listened, I don't hate her on principle. I've heard a couple of her interview answers, and she just she didn't seem that impressive to me on what she was talking about with foreign policy. I think she's being overprogrammed. I think these guys have got her into a crash course in, in all these one on one programs, and she got to let the woman go a little bit. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to see what she does on, on, on Thursday night. But, uh, you know, listen, she's a breath of fresh air compared to these other people that we've seen. And uh, how can yeah. we do much worse? All we have, all, it, it was the, the best and the brightest, wasn't it? All these guys from Harvard and Yale hmm. who stacked Wall Street, and these are brilliant people. Henry Paulson down on his knee. What a fool. I mean, so, so <laughs> we're worried about Sarah. Sarah Palin? <laughs> yeah, you know, he makes a point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. All right. Well, thanks, uh, thanks, Bill, for calling. Bill, uh, yes. Always a treat when, uh, you know, you're not trying to get us fired. <laughs> Bill, I'll be you governors guys. in Levittown this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to check out Colin. Hey, Bill, I know you've been following my career for a long time. Do you have HBO, Bill? Actually, I don't. Oh, you should mm -hmm. get it this Friday at midnight because I'm on after Bill Maher's show. Really? We yes. Can tape it here. I can watch it. All right, good. It's called Down and Dirty with Jim Norton. I have oh, some boy. very good comments. And if you have any friends in Cleveland, Rich Voss will be at Hilarities. Yeah, yes. And, then, and we'll be starting up the uh, Tough Crowd Tour with m myself, Colin, and Keith Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said the... I'll have the, the guys tape it here for me. Hey, hey Bill, what bar are you going to be drinking at today? <laughs> um, the one I usually go to is uh, McGeever's out in Long Island. <laughs> there you yeah. Go. yeah, nice I Irish pub. Talks over here by Penn Station. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good place. Uh, throw, down, throw back a few. I hear yeah, you. But, there's nobody around. I mean, all, all the Jews are off today, so I got plenty of seats. <laughs> sure, oh, that's true. Oh, the Jews are in the bars. Please, <laughs> <laughs> they own it. Yeah. Hey, Bill, are the uh, complaints down on us these days? Oh, the what? Complaints? No, not many complaints coming in. No, no, no. All right. Against you guys, are <laughs> absolutely zip. All right, we'll change yeah, that. Yeah, we're trying. I'm afraid to say that. You guys will change that very quickly. We're, I know. We're trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> All right there, Mr. Donahue. All right, Bill Donahue. Right, take care, man. All right, buddy. Thank you. Here goes uh, Bill. Bill Donahue. Mortal enemies at one point in our career. Um, you know, ah, when someone gets you fired from a very lucrative job <laughs> for two years. Uh, still not yeah. much of a fan, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I still don't blame uh, him. Uh, but whatever. Nah. He didn't you know. fire us. Nah. If you were head of the uh, Catholic League, you'd have probably done the same thing. Uh, and the, like, I would never be head of the Catholic League. But if I was, no. I would absolutely have wanted us you fired. Can't you can't give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even coach them. <laughs> oh, damn, Jimmy. <laughs> Slip that one in. <laughs> oh, literally. <laughs> a literal ant. No, I, I, I honestly, I, after talking to him, he's rational. 
guy, when you, the way he talks about, like, it, it's, it's a Catholic, as long as they're attacking everybody, it's fine. I mean, he's not it's some irrational religious leader. Son. If you no. can excuse my language here for a minute, you might have to dump out. Uh, he does like to toot his own horn. Yeah, he was he was the spokesperson when we uh, got fired, and he didn't even hear the bit, uh, you know. He had a lot know. to say. He doesn't hear or see anything. That's, that's the point I'm making. Oh, like, please. He's all if over. Had, if you had done that in a mosque, we'd all be dead. They would have blown up the well, door. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I don't believe that. I, I have a problem with the fact that he has his people do all his, you know, all yeah, the... Yeah, there's always, it's like, did you see that, Bill? Did you hear it? And they're like, no, but I had some uh, yeah, secretary or an much, intern. I go, did you hear uh, what we did that day? He goes, no, I didn't need to. He's yeah. I'm like, well, uh, I, I think at the very least you should hear the bit before you're on CNN and every other you're effing news me station. You're telling the Catholic League should hear people yeah. having sex and say Patrick. Well, if, you, <laughs> if you're going to be uh, yeah. on TV talking about it uh, ad, ad nauseum, yeah, you should at least hear the bit. Because so the know fact of the matter about. was, you never really heard people having sex. You never heard anything. You just heard. Look, you know, we were in a tough spot. I understand ass, that. But. Uh, saying something stupid well, but, on the phone. But you know who did hear it? The lawyers that fired us, who approved it to begin with. Yeah. They heard it. There you go. The lawyers. Here's, I hold more animosity toward them. And the, yeah, well, but he's doing the same thing. With, he's doing the same thing with this religious. A lot of people want his comment on, and he, one of his spokespeople went and saw it. But, I, oh, please! Uh, how about the fact that they? Uh, how about the amount of people that didn't see Passion of Christ yeah. and ran Mel Gibson out of the business? I mean, if you yeah. want to talk about that, because well, I think well, you should you see know, the this stuff. Movie That's all. I know, but, I mean, but he was honest he about it. He was honest that his person saw Bill it. Maher. Yeah. Well, very... This is what the statement says, though. Catholic Director of Communications Susan Fanny attended a preview of the Bill Maher movie religious in new york city in a report to league president bill donahue it was clear that the film is more absurd than hateful here is donahue's take on the movie as informed by fanny's right, observations right. that's funny it's like, like I, someone is... told him about it and then he gets the comment <laughs> well, as if he saw I mean, it. this is this is this is like well, this, is, this is his thing he should like make time to go see the movie because right. you know a lot of people are going to be asking for his opinion that's all i'm mm -hmm. saying that's true. Uh, we comment on everything that we haven't seen or or been involved in. You well, this comment, is true. You know, like, he's an important guy. He's the head of the Catholic League. He can't go to everything. Who wants to go see Bill Maher to begin with? All right. That's right. He's, he's a little insufferable. You know. Uh, you know what? Bill Maher did a good job at the film. I thought he's this was good for say, him. He did a good job. Good for him. I still uh, can't forgive him. <laughs> I, he did a good job. Guy was what a about douche yeah. to, uh, to, to me personally. Who? Bill Maher. Oh. First time I was ever on the radio. Bastard. I was a tin knocker, and then I went into radio, and the goddamn guy, we were interviewing him, and he started goofing on us for the fact that we didn't know how to interview. We were a bit green at that we time. We were very green. That? Yeah. When, last Extremely week or recently? <laughs> 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 All right, that's pretty good, Vaughn. All right, look, we got to take a break. <laughs> you ass. In honor of Bill Donahue saying uh, Wall Street, Main Street, uh, one more time. What yeah, the hell, please. before we bury this thing. It's the uh, Wall Street, Main Street montage. Everyone is saying it, saying it in the media today. There is no question that the troubles on Wall Street have absolutely bled into Main Street. To make sure that Main Street is getting the same kind of help that Wall Street's getting. Well, bad news from Wall Street has folks on Main Street and a panic. What does it mean for Wall Street? What does it mean for the rest of us, maybe on Main Street? Main Street is looking for accountability from Wall Street, and that, of course, impacts both Wall Street as well as Main Street. And we must insulate Main Street from Wall Street. Understand that this is just as much about Main Street as it is about Wall Street. Yet. Wall Street is Main Street, folks. I don't want to spend all this money to bail out these, these Wall Street fat cats. It, it, it's also bailing out Main Street. What else is going on in the world? This is the Opie and Anthony Show. We got a story from yesterday that we never got to. Another home invasion, Ant. See? Where? And you know what? We laugh at your scenarios, but <laughs> they come true. This is, I know what home invasions are all about. That's why I am uh, protecting myself constantly through the use, the responsible use of uh, my right, my Second Amendment right. We laugh at your paranoia at times, but then these stories come out and it's like, wow, this is pretty much the scenario that, that uh, Anthony spells out for everybody. Sure. What happened? Here it is. Duct tape holds a 17-year-old girl's bedroom window closed after a terrifying incident early Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. What could have been a very tragic situation for a 17-year-old girl has turned into the death of the assailant. Nice. The assailant was a convicted sex offender who broke into the house wearing nothing but a mask and latex gloves. He had in his possession a knife, there was some rope, uh, some condom. It was about 3 in the morning when the girl's parents were awakened. She awoke, uh, saw this naked man in the bedroom, 
uh, with a mask on. She started screaming. The father subdued the man by wrapping his arms around the man's neck. When police arrived, the suspect had died. Yeah. Yay. I called 911, and that's when the police arrived and found him on the floor with his arm around the neck of of Mr. Myers uh, struggling, holding him down. Authorities say the assailant, 52-year-old Michael David Myers. Myers, had a history of heart <laughs> trouble. Michael Myers. The father is not expected to be charged. Good. How great is that? How great that is, is fantastic. He, he was probably like, call 911. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> How, where was that? Where was that? Uh, somewhere. It's hard, though. Somewhere in USA. It's hard I to rush all naked yeah. man, though. It's any town USA it could be. Mm -hmm. Wait, Voss wants to go into a bit. Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't Voss is <laughs> hard to wrestle a naked man. <laughs> I've done it many he's, times. He's, he's kind of onto something, though. I mean, how, well, 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 you know, how do you race, uh, wrestle yeah. a naked man? I don't know. Ask Norton. <laughs> he's onto something. Right, that onto, wasn't bad, Voss. He actually is onto something. Godfrey's old bit about breaking into a house naked. Why? Well, wow. See, we oh. know we know that you're watching Godfrey too. I don't know what Godfrey does on stage, you late night hack. <laughs> 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 Who knows what he does? I'm home sleeping uh, by the time he's on. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, that's always uh, just one of my uh, my uh, nightmares is uh, a home invasion because oh, oh yes. god, but not you know no, you got to defend yourself. That's why I have to vote for McCain and his stupid BIM, a vice presidential candidate. I'm not even going to say her stupid name. My it, friends were doing home invasions in the 70s for heroin. Oh, great. Good. My, yeah, back then they were kicking doors over. My grandmother was a home invasion. I told you, well, my grandmother, and they tied her up. And kicked oh, I thought she was doing home invasions. <laughs> no, grandma, I'm like, what? Home, no, but she, she was got trying it. to steal a non-retarded grandson. <laughs> 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 Bobby, Bobby. Uh, and my friend, he got 15 years in prison for doing it. 15 years. Kicked an old lady's door open. What? And, you and, say it like it's an outrage of justice. Yes. Yeah, no, no not at all. 15 years. I'm saying you it believe was good. That? Wait, got, what did he do to the old lady that he got 15? He kicked her door open. Uh huh. Raped her? And, no, he taught her. He didn't rape her. He was, you know, he, he was 15, a drug addict. 15 years. What else did he do? He kicked he her got 15 out. years for that? Yeah, yeah, but you do about six years probably. Depends on what his record was. And so. he probably wasn't, yeah. They don't do 15 years. Taking a break years. from college to six. kick into someone's door. Yeah. Did he yeah. have priors? Yeah. Boys, his friend, boys, his friends didn't go to college. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> go Lay down. You were killing when you were laying down. I <laughs> know. Uh, he, he, he wasn't going for a joke. He was just stating a fact there. <laughs> don't it, always <laughs> stick up for anybody who comes <laughs> after me. Once in a blue moon, say, you know what, Voss is right. Okay, <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> Opie, <laughs> oh, here we go what? again. <laughs> One time. Are we talking already? Here we go again. Hold on. I, 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 here we go. Yeah, I want to ask Keith McGillicuddy. Fuck <laughs> 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 him, sock him. <laughs> what? What? The old had a valid question. What else did he do when he broke in? Thank you, Jimmy. He tied her up and robbed her. Oh, okay. okay, but still, I mean, he probably had a, uh, you know, he probably had priors, a, a rap sheet, you know. He wasn't a singer. I mean, he did a lot of drugs. Is he out of jail? No, he, went, he got out for a month. No, I got past that. Oh, no. no he didn't. He got out I was just month. gut punched. <laughs> he got out for a month. He got out for a month and, and did oh, something. No. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, no, my uncle just made a joke because he had a rap sheet. He wasn't singing. Oh. It's too late. I don't know who said that. Uncle Rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's something your uncle would say like 1988. No. And you're the right age to be his uncle, too, boss. <laughs> Is this where I'm supposed to defend you, by the way? I'm no, not no, sure. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want my food to go bad. He had a saran wrap sheet. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Just let me know when I'm supposed to jump in and no, help me out. now I'm really confused. <laughs> Jesus, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think your mouth is on spin cycle. That washing machine is called a mouth. <laughs> Time to just shut it down. <laughs> it's a washing machine with a bunch of pillowcases in it. Ah, we're rich. Well, we Constant. Could you know, we could segue into this next one. This one's uh, pretty amazing, too. It's, oh, my God. Oh, time this. Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> rolling right to the finish. This Kentucky man just hit an infamous milestone. Henry Earl has now been arrested. Has now been arrested? A hundred, hundred and something times. Milestone. Is it time? Uh, how many times he's been arrested? Yes. Or what yes. for? Oh, okay. It's a milestone. I will say 
One thousand times. That's that. That's that would be impossible. I'm sticking with it. That's impossible. Because I don't care if I win or not. I'm gonna go with. How a, can how can I'm you go saying with a thousand? A thousand. That's, that's insane. I'm saying a thousand. It's not, not enough days. It'd be a rest what? Of a thousand. I times. read this story and I can't remember if it's a hundred or a thousand, but it's one of those. I'm uh, saying a thousand. Uh, a hundred. easy. Child support. <laughs> Holy moron. He's thinking about what Bonnie's going to ask for when she leaves him. <laughs> <laughs> the answer. You just woke him up. Yeah, the course. Child support. Yeah. Uh, uh, how many times she's been arrested? How do you, let me ask you something. How do you pay child support? Uh, how do you say it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How do you pay child support what? How do you pay child, child support with comps from the hilarities? <laughs> <laughs> no. How do you throw, pay for the room? Stuttering and, so and muttering. <laughs> That she was gets, pretty funny. He gets two for one. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand? That's insane, Ed. Come on. I'm going to say a thousand. One hundred and fifty. Give me a real guess, Ed. I'm saying a thousand. One hundred and fifty. One hundred times arrested. Well, I read this story and I can't remember. Right, well, here it is. Just hit an infamous milestone. Henry Earl has now been arrested one thousand times. Yes. Oh. Oh. I swear, I just took a guess. Right off the top of my head. That's pretty. Solid. I knew it. Is that him right there? All right, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He has a thousand different ways to cut his afro, too, I see in this look photo. At all of those mug shots put together. Wow. He's been arrested two more oh. times, and he has kids. <laughs> Even though he said it was so unconfident. Uh, like, I got something for Rich, his... in honor of Rich. It's a person. There's a person stranded. There's a person <laughs> stranded. <laughs> <laughs> let's help let's help help out Ray. There's a person, there's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. Oh well we'll try to get you back on board there, Rich. Look at his mug shots. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they're just scrolling along and he looks like someone. He looks like everyone. He looks like what's his name? <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh geez, what happened to them there? Oh, it's nice. Getting a little older. He does look like someone. He does. Only in America you could get arrested a thousand times. How do you get arrested a thousand, a thousand like, times? He looks like all the roles prior played and which way was up. <laughs> <laughs> or which way is up. Oh, he went with a shaved head there. Yeah. You know all what? Right. They got a video of all his uh, different looks. They should have Wow. They should have done it like a flip book, Ant. Eh? Like a yeah. lot faster. Just... Or morph them. Or morph them. I like that morphing. Oh, that's a good idea, too. <laughs> We'll have that video up on onaradio.com. Uh, Here's the rest of the story. Has now been arrested 1,000 times, mostly for public intoxication and other nonviolent charges. All of those arrests have been in Lexington. Earl's latest brush with the law was Monday night. That's when he was picked up for alcohol intoxication. For the latest charge, a judge Tuesday sentenced him to 1,000 days behind bars for the crime, saying it was only appropriate. Earl has been famous for his extensive record. He's been arrested 35 times this year alone. A local TV station reports, in all, he spent more than 4,000 days in jail. On average, he's out of jail about two days before he lands back behind bars. Earl also has been featured on late night talk shows, and several websites are dedicated to tracking his arrest record. <laughs> wow. Several late night talk shows on BET. Yeah, <laughs> I like go to that one shot of all the mug shots together. It just looks like looks like the opening sequence of this e bunch. Go to that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, of the what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, I, I want to All right, enough people got it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, that's terrible. That's just awful. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank God for the beep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my Saves God. us every time. Yeah. Who was living with 30 children of his own? <laughs> <laughs> the youngest one in prison. <laughs> Although one day when this dead meat met this hoe. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was much more than a trick. That wasn't bad. Oh, no. There's a person. There's a person stranded. There's a person <laughs> stranded. He said he didn't have a How this Jew would somehow ruin the fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my new favorite clip now. <laughs> oh, We Rich. finally found a new bomb clip. Yep. It's about time. <laughs> great. I was sick of pushing that boo. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic.
Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Flip, what are you doing over there? You're, you're footy. Yeah, you're, co you're coming over to the XM side. Good old. You got a plug there, foot. But stop Step up to there. the mic, God damn it. Joe Curry, comedian we all know. Yeah. Funny. Yes, my pal. My pal. Hey, many years. Uh, right in there. McGuire, Mag Maguire, Maguire's Comedy Club, October, uh, October 10th and 11th. That was smooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maguire's. Uh, yeah, right. What? You're on an episode of MacGyver? What? <laughs> Maguire's, October uh, 10th, and 11th. 10th and 11th. Joseph Curry. Mm-hmm. Uh, foot. I just call him Foot. You know, he was tapping his. Uh, he was tapping uh, one of those friggin' big, goddamn. Yeah. Uh, he was tapping one of those in a barn one day. We were hanging out, smoking pot and drinking whiskey and stuff. That's what we used to do out there in, in North Port. Patchock. Those barns in North Port. Yeah, it was like, like everyone's backyard had like a shed, and it was like a, a barn with some workbench that your father used when he wasn't drunk, kind of a thing. I got locked up in Corum once, you know. Did you for two days? Yeah. Corum for what? Mm, that's There's a club uh, out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's back. That's good. Hey, He's really? back. Uh, so J Joe was tapping his foot to, uh, I guess, some Charlie Daniels was playing or something, and he was tapping his foot, and dust was coming out from under his foot and like making a vortex around the top of his foot, and uh, this guy uh, uh, Chauncey, who we used to know uh, before he died, uh, he. he he goes, hey, it looks like when you drop a big plank and, and the dust comes out. And he goes, hey, plank foot. And, and 80 years later, it's, it's, it's he's stuck. still plank foot. Oh, it took Great you an hour to tell the story about his foot. Well, that's why they call him plank Those, foot. His feet look like Patrice, don't they? And it took you one second <laughs> to tag person, it with there's crap. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. Exactly. Every other one. Good one. Plank, plank teeth. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you walk a plank? <laughs> <laughs> we just got you back on the boat. You're down here in the water off. again. <laughs> get off. You're back on the oh, boat. my God. Help him. <laughs> why did he do that? I want to ask Seesaw Choppers <laughs> why he <laughs> jumped in and wrote everyone's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's fun. Was, oh my god! Just relating a story. Oh, it was a good one. Sorry. No, it was oh. a good one. It just gives people insight into the characters on the show, and mm -hmm. you know things like that. Uh, what, what insight, you, like the story of you yeah. dressing up like a friggin' <laughs> chick for your drug dealer to get a discount. <laughs> the story was long, but it was entertaining. Gave a little insight into what yeah, a I drug addict, telling, pseudo queer you are. I was telling somebody last night I was giving Babiglia a ride home last night. Who? Oh. And it's Babiglia. What are you? Uh, yeah, I gave him a ride. We we patched up things. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> Lover <laughs> spat is over. Yeah. And I was saying how brilliant you were that you turned my short, short bit into 45 minutes of complete you <laughs> right. because I wanted to get some extra coke, that's all. Right, the yeah. two of you trying to explain to each other how it was just a, a moment, a radio bit that got carried away. Like, sure, you know. it wasn't real. Well, Why are you happened? sitting like a girl? What? Sit like a man. All right, I, I, I sit like a girl if I was like, I, I, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> The snap is there. The snap. The ball is down. The kick is on its way. It's good. Come it's good. On. Oh, it's good. No, no, no waiter. No, no, he said no. no good. No good. We missed it. I'm sorry. We missed it. Oh. I hit a patch of black ice. <laughs> I tapped the brakes. I didn't hear about the spike. Uh, I, the, uh, I, no, I wanted to know, when are you going to see your dentist? And, like, does he have to call in the aluminum siding expert today? <laughs> <laughs> Garden State brick face. <laughs> brick face and stucco, right? Hey, but what is this? Uh, I never heard about the Battle of the Glorified Middles. What happened with Boston? <laughs> oh, it was uh, it was something. Wow, it was Rich went one. after uh, Mike. Rich had pretty a, pretty bad. Rich had a pretty good day. Yeah. See, there's me sticking up Thank for you. you. See how I, I do it? Hey, voice is a hot. Let's face it, voice is always. We always know he's 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 got it. He's a catalyst for this show. <laughs> Thank you. You know, now, just explain what catalyst. I was going to say, is. Jimmy, I was right there with you. <laughs> shot That's rocks over walls. Opie said, "I'm the Cadillac of the show." <laughs> no, dummy. <laughs> I'm a list of kittens. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's play this one more time because we're not going to see Rich for a while. You know why? Because you you come in here every, uh, every every once in a while. Yeah, I, I try not to burn out. Yeah, you can only <laughs> take this abuse every three four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. I cry. And I and I rebuild. In, in honor of your new mouth, I want to play this one more time. They call me up mouth, cause I don't brush. Oh, I like my teeth like this. They call me up mouth, no, I won't brush. How's about a little kiss? 
I got those beef in my teeth, got some chicken too. Ouch! That's a cavity. Hey, that's new. Well, if you don't brush your lower your standards. Lower your standards. By the way, uh, uh, Stump Brain, why don't you read what you just uh, showed me? The uh, power of the radio show Richard. right here. Hmm? The L.A. Times is today reporting the rumor we planted last week that Biden is resigning after the vice pres presidential debate to make room for Hillary Clinton. Ah, there you go. Took a week, 10 days. For them to bite. But guess what? They want that to be true, too. You think so? Boy, people talk about picking Palin. What about picking Biden instead of Hillary? Well, maybe Hillary. It was a smart was... move. How about the... She... Yeah, Tessio was always a smart one. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> Hillary tried to dance on somebody's feet, and her fat cankles crushed their little tootsies. <laughs> Poor Tessio. There's, no, that was a smart move. People don't want to look at Hillary. Wow, wait. How, Kelly... how about Kelly Pickler grew up from uh, American Idol? Wow, uh, wait. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Oh, Uncle They're Paul. They're only showing a, f a facial shot. Well, because she's got, like, really nice implants Did now. she get a... I think they're a little scared implants. Oh, yeah, well, she, she did. got a go-funny eye and a go-funny mouth. Wow, and wait. An awful skirt. That skirt's awful. A little awful. something going on there. That skirt would look perfect on your nurse aunt. What is this, Project <laughs> Runway? <laughs> what? Whew. These guys are commenting on her outfit, like... Well, no, no I just, oh, like, we're trying to look at, 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 her, at her rack, and we can't see yeah, the skirt. See, they, old won't, they won't do the close-up of the rack. She might be nipping out or something. What? No. Oh, is that what the they're doing? The scroll is covering it. Yes, yeah, stupid scroll. I like the scroll. It's very necessary. It's a nice microphone. It. it looks like one of Patrice's dildos. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it's all covered know. with diamonds, glass. Remember, oh. remember the glass dildo yeah, day? Yeah, Patrice brought in a bunch of glass dills. In, in a briefcase, we had to look at him and go, what's wrong with you? You all right? She's, uh, yeah, okay. Look at, see that, huh? Oh, good God. Wow, look at the friggin' set on her. Yep. She's a busty gal. I don't think she had those when she was doing the American Idol yeah. thing. No, no way. Yes. She's only 22. Not Is she? Know. Maybe. What's that thing hanging off her ear there? One of her ear pieces? Uh, yes, it's her monitor. Yeah, she man. doesn't seem to need it. I think she was uh, grew up with Jimmy uh, Jimmy Jackson. We didn't get the Jimmy, Jimmy Jackson. Jackson. No, Jimmy Jackson too. Well, oh, on XM. They all wait on XM so I could I'll say I could say the word. When he, the when he used to tell his five-year-old daughter what she'll turn into if she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Believe me, he used to tell her that, and she used to cry that she doesn't want to be one. Was it a, was it a euphemism <laughs> for boogeyman? But <laughs> yes, exactly. Boogeyman. Was it a little interpretation? <laughs> yes, it was. But Jimmy went right for the throat on that one. <laughs> didn't, didn't, uh, didn't muck around with any uh, words that, no. you know. Any politically correct words? Forget hilarities. I'm in Allentown tonight at the uh, Allentown oh, Brewworks. Tickle Me Tuesdays. Allentown tonight. Tickle Me Tuesdays? Yeah. You're joking. No. Oh, that's Rich Voss. Tickle Me Tuesdays yeah. sounds yeah. like a fun night. Yeah, let's uh, focus on the plugs because we got some big ones today. Yeah, that's good Tickle money. Me that was Rich Voss. Yeah. We got uh, Colin at Governor's out there on Long Island. What town you're hoping uh, shows up? What town? Yeah. I, oh, what town do you want to represent at your gig this uh, this weekend at oh, Governor? Mastic Shirley. <laughs> Mastic <laughs> Shirley. Mastic Shirley. My cousin Tim lives. Wow, he's doing pretty well for himself. Oh, God. <laughs> Mastic Shirley. <laughs> Hopefully closer to Shirley than Mastic. What is he, right on the border? Oh, my God. And, uh, of course, Joe Curry, Plankfoot yeah. at uh, McGuire's, Plankfoot. October 10th and 11th. Yeah. Yes. Where is, where is McGuire's again? Like, oh, yeah, you don't field? know. <laughs> you don't know. And uh, and Jimmy's uh, HBO show starts Friday after Bill Maher. This at Friday midnight. Yeah. At midnight, it's called Down and Dirty. Let's get the word out. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great show for Jimmy. Yeah. I think. The first episode, you know. This episode, uh, I don't. I know Florentine's on it, and Artie Lang is on it, hey. Um, hey. and a couple other comedians. When is uh, when is my power gonna be on? I forgot his freaking name. I fit, you know, Jeffries. So. Uh, Oh, Anthony Jezelnik, the, the guy with the <laughs> with the arthritis. I, what, I can't remember his oh, name. Oh, Sean Rouse. Sean Rouse. Oh, I don't he know. Is he's a funny, funny mother effer. He's God, either on the Patrice funny. episode or the Bill Burr episode. I think. I'm not sure. Sean Rouse rules. He's funny, man. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're out of here. Colin, thank you. If you really. related to Colin, Colin would put him on the show. And Rich, thank you. Right. You know we love you, right? Oh yeah. All right, good. Clinton was in office for 9/11. The World Trade Center. Exactly six people died. Okay. You can't blame 9-11 on Bush or Clinton. It's stupid. you got to blame security? the savages. How about the fucking incompetent cunt Donald Rumsfeld? How about that dumb motherfucker? They've done a terrible job. Remember there. him? Yeah. We all thought he was great, but he's fucking, he was terrible. Yeah. And national security, Bush is a fucking... Yeah, look, I, I defended Bush. 
I defended him. Hey, there hasn't been an attack. You're right, there hasn't been. So. I mean, why? The, hey, fuck the world. Rich, why don't you get on mic? Get on mic. <laughs> get on mic. I'm saying, are we on? Turn on the mic. <laughs> are we on? Yeah. Are we on? Huh? Your mic isn't on for some reason. Because it's me. It knows, yeah. I'm not it even knows. kidding. Talk. It's not on. Why isn't it? What is? Is it uh, A or B? Oh, here comes Derek, who never comes into the studio. I think I, it's, I'm not to blame on this one, my friend. It's a high-level no. haircut. And here comes Mars. Oh, boy, Mars with that. Are we really going to work that hard to get Voss's mic working? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Rich. Boy, was Rich giving me a look. Yeah, he was. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sitting right next to you. We can't hear you, Rich, so don't even like bother. You, like you recognized an old Nazi. <laughs> I know you. I know him. Let it be my angel. Let it be known that Mars' solution was to turn the mic off and back on. Uh, uh, how did that work out? How did that work out? Good? No. No, that didn't work, huh? Try that. Maybe you're on oh, his spot now. Oh, Christ. Oh, they took, they took Foot's uh, microphone away from Mike. That mic should work. We're getting him a wireless. All right, here, take that, Rich. Is this on? Yes. yes. Slobber on that one for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's shorted out when you said hello. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at hello. Uh, you had me at hello? Yeah, that's what it is. You had me at hello. <laughs> Whatever. I got it. You had oh. me. The movie's kind of old. I don't remember it. Yeah. I can't really quote things, you know. Why isn't that mic working either? I, I, we want to hear the audience today. We got some uh, some people on the bleachers. They're laughing, but I don't. I can't pick their... Oh, I hear them. The, uh, that's not from their mic, though, Anthony. Yeah, that's not from their mic. Opie, yeah, the end em. guy on the bleachers was a contestant on Remote Control, and he won when Colin was the host. For real? A bunch of people were. Fucking the... the, the, the Colin, one of your fans is the out production, no, to him. The production to him. guy. So punch him in the balls. They with, your, with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Cackle that. Yes, I did. Joke. Yes, I did. Oh. Fruit. <laughs> What's going on with you and uh, uh, Rich today, Jimmy? There's you were a little frustrated by what uh, Rich was saying. He was talking politics no. and blaming the liberals on I'll the. I'll tell you no, what was. Blaming the they liberals. were, they the, were talking about the big meltdown this week, but enough about the New York Mets. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Oh, Colin, Don't call you're me a late card for supper. What we're saying, what I'm saying, it's true. People say oh, I ought to be dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying about this whole mess is what mess would this be? The Republicans, your, your teeth or the economy? <laughs> what, 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 what are we talking about? I can't hear. Uh, the whole Turn studio. Turn the volume up. No, a, a lot of the mics are 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 Pumped low today. Are busted. I don't know what's going on. You busted it. It's oh. a hunk of junk. A hunk of junk. Maybe they're it's already junk. Uh, <laughs> taking yeah. the studio apart. <laughs> yeah, they're disassembling it. Oh. I know, because I swore one of the uh, flat screens were gone. Yeah. Like, uh, they're telling me that there weren't three across here. There were always just two. Uh -huh. And then I said, well, no, Mars insists that there was only two. But then you, you suggested that well, perhaps... Well. Well, the guy that stole the TV would, of course, insist that there was always... <laughs> See, he's accusing Mars of stealing the right, TV well, and saying said it was never there. I oh, Jimmy did? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we got his... What? You said the... What? He said Mars stole it. Oh, I didn't hear that. Voss, oh, listen to the really replay. <laughs> Voss hey. just got up like he's Henry Paulson, like some important call came through. Uh, oh, Voss is taking a... Voss, who's on the phone? He's like, hold on. Who's it's... on the phone? My well, company. Oh. <laughs> company. Oh, is Wait, that what is you it? call your dentist? Yay! <laughs> 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 hey, hey. hey, who the fuck is on the phone? Get off the uh, phone, you fucking fuck, kid you toucher. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you understand? Did you hear Anthony's line just now? What? I uh, voice with my grouting company. He goes, is that what you call your dentist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, we all oh, enjoyed geez. that one. Whoa. Uh, and I think we got an NEW situation here. What? Remember when NEW started falling apart and then everything started disappearing? Yeah. I, I imagine some of these flat screens are going to stuck. I'm going to snag one myself. Hell fucking yeah. I remember that Carol Miller, they, they took her, uh, no, <laughs> a beanbag chair. A lava lamp. <laughs> Carol. Fucking hippies. A whole bunch of aged hippies over there. Um, you guys are going to start disappearing like Back to the Future. You know how they... 
We're coming off of the picture and a race. It's a person. There's a person. <laughs> There's a person stranded. <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> you know, who, who knew that clip would come in so I, handy for I'm that? I try so hard not to overuse it because uh, it's, it's uh, that damn good. Uh, well, that's a good one. This is our last day of our contract, and then tomorrow's uh, the first day of our uh, our new contract. Our new contract, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 some applause. Great. Where do you want to play golf tomorrow? There's uh, yeah, yeah, no kidding. We should take tomorrow off. There's uh, there's uh, there's a lot of things that need to be worked out, to to say the least. But uh, we are going to continue. Yeah, for uh, for the time being. They've had the uh, countdown clock going. I guess we were at what day? What was this day zero? This is it. Right. What's here. the countdown clock actually on? I think it's less than a, a day. Are you doing it? It's, yeah, it's down to hours. Let me see. You know, you guys should get in your contract. Make sure they give you a lot of stock options. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what we want. I want stock options that are set at like fifty a share. So then mm -hmm. they they kick in when I the got stock reaches fifty. Lehman Brothers, if you want. Do you? Uh, <laughs> now they shut down. They're no good. They're, <laughs> a literal gym. Ants doing the literal gym bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to be tagged. So anyway, my fourteen name? hours left. Uh, wow, that's back. it. Until the, why didn't they take that down when we signed two weeks ago? Well. <laughs> Dan, he just starts laughing. Yeah, why didn't they take that down when we actually went in? He's laughing. And signed our contract He's laughing two weeks ago. It's like maybe we sh you should have told the staff. Yeah, tell the staff <laughs> that know. we. Uh, no, because things still have to be figured out. Yeah, but we're signed. Are you? All yeah. of us. We're committed. That's All it. Of us? Done deal. All of us. Oh, except for. Uh Oh, oh Jimmy, one I, person. I, today's the day I, I have to write the email to Mel Carmazan. No, no, don't write. What? I don't like your emails to Mel. No. You sure? It's the only no. thing that I can... just want to help out a pal. But it won't help. Uh, hey, you know, Mel, remember the old Very bit. Hurtful. Help a what is it? Hey, help Mel, a rascal. Help a First class rascal. ticket to the resurrection. <laughs> Mel, <laughs> fuck you, are we? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, hey, you can be put on payroll somehow. You like, can't yeah. kill ahead of the goddamn. Because you said you want one, Mel. Whatever. Like that movie. I'll come in, like, you know, doing something, you know, on payroll. So, you know, you know, just like two days a week or something. Put them on and take off. Take them off. Man, I will suck your dick. What are you fucking begging? I'm just, I'm asking for a job. That's all I'm saying. Oh, are you? Yeah, just a Monday, Tuesday type I think you guys should give him something. Yeah, AIDS. I think, I think Monday. Does job cover dental? Oh, Wow. That'd be good. That's what uh, Congress is trying to push through. That seven hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Rich's latest. Rich's uh, fucking dental insurance bill. Uh, Your deductible is six hundred billion. That's some exaggerated humor. Of we, course, when you exaggerate, it makes it funny. Yeah, sure. You, uh, yeah. Next week we're going to be uh, heard on uh, Sirius as well, I guess. Yes. How does that going to work? Well, we will be on channel one ninety. Seven? Seven. Play That's just like numbers. being on channel 202. On Sirius. Making it easy for it's everybody. five different ones. So yeah. few people on uh, that uh, have Sirius also. Some people have both. Yeah. If you're, uh, you have Sirius, because I know I have a Sirius in my Mustang. Right. But I, in my Escalade, I have a XM. Right. So now if I was what in my Mustang, bunker? and I wanted to, my bunker <laughs> plays, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Armed Forces Radio. <laughs> <laughs> and every black station in the city, yeah. so I know when the war starts. <laughs> <laughs> he is Radio Twa Twa. That was the radio station now. Radio <laughs> Twa Twa. <laughs> Hotel Rwanda. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. The cockroaches. You must stop these cockroaches. Time to cut down the big tree. Wherever you see. <laughs> uh, the world markets are reacting. Japan down 4.1%. London, those fuckers They're are up 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.6. And Germany down 0.5%. It's inconsequential. That's nothing. Uh, we're looking at a, um, a huge a opening. Uh, opening will be a very big. Uh, it's opening like right now, right? Uh, ding, 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 ding. You think it's going to be a big open? I think it's going to be a big open. Uh, uh, that pre-market trading looked to be good. Uh, uh, Apple was up. See, if you're smart, how yesterday, much did you, up? you should have gone... Uh, I don't know, like a they, couple they bucks. closed so badly. They closed so not Talk about the Mets. It was just, oh, <laughs> oh, Colin. 
<laughs> two for two on the How Mets. How do they jokes? not make mistakes with all the just throwing paper? Because it's everything? computerized now. Oh. They still use paper, but everything They're goes into a computer. They're just yelling at each other. You know, I don't get it. This whole thing is based crazy. on trading places. <laughs> yeah, that's how he, he learned stuff. all of his stuff. Which I, would never, <laughs> which, which I would never do with you. And this is also in his own. Oh! Oh! oh. That had a hurt. That was Believe a good mark. One. Sure was. That was a humdinger. Yep. Sounds to me like <laughs> someone crazy. got uh, pwned. I was offered a job uh, at Merrill Lynch when I used to have my plant business. I used to have a plant. We used to <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, That's I, great. You had a plant business. Oh, this was. We and had, they I, wanted you trading on. Well, here's what it was. Yeah. I used to do canvas sales. What I did was, I would buy. <laughs> We're all the thinking growers. of stupid uh, things to plant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're all oh, thinking dude. of a dumb tree. Yes. <laughs> An oaf. <laughs> <laughs> the oaf tree. The business was. Oh, I would, God. My man eating plants are after me and I'm dodging them. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would go to the growers. I had a grower. And we would, I would buy like 200 hanging baskets in the morning, plants, 8 inch or 10 inch, and I hired three guys. I we can't hear you because your, like your mouth is like a Venus flytrap. <laughs> <laughs> and we would canvas sell. You were watering your mouth too much. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and we would sell plants out of the vans, and I was renting mm -hmm. vans, and I would teach the guys how to canvas sale, and I'd make a dollar or two off of every plant they sold. But in August... What happened was the vans weren't air conditioned and the plants would start dying and I was losing money rapidly. It was crazy. <laughs> so the business kind of went under. I would love to see well. him sitting on fucking, you know, yeah. like the squawk box in the morning as they're interviewing him about the market. And I had these plants. Well, one of my. And he's trying to fan them with a newspaper to keep them cool and comfortable. One of my biggest sales ever. I had a 10 inch hanging basket. It cost me, <laughs> it cost me like $8. Listen, to, this was a great. Great sale. <laughs> it cost me like eight dollars. All right. This is gonna be and, a great story. And we would sell them. We yeah. would sell them out of the van and pitch them on the street or go into a beauty pot, whatever. And this guy pulls up. He's what do we sell? And I see he had MD plates. So he said, "What's in the? You know, what do you got? Maryland got plants." Literal Jim. He said, and, hey. they, and they were in sleeves. <laughs> Listen, they were in sleeves. Oh, yes, you couldn't see them. He goes, "What's the big one?" I go. I go, that's a plan. He goes, well, what's in the big sleeve? I go, uh, listen, you don't want this one. Take a look at the little ones. He goes, no, let me see that. I go, now nah, they're usually for like doctor offices because he didn't know I saw the license. And well, I go, doctor's they go, doctor's offices. I go, doctor offices. Doctor offices. <laughs> I go, yes. they go for like $100 a piece. When Pete Office became a doctor. <laughs> yes, doctor they go, they go, offices. They go for like 100 a piece. And I saw he was so, he was a mood man, and he looked at it and bought it because I said, you know, he had an ego. Is you he still talking? Yeah. Well, the biggest sale ever was a ninety-two dollar profit. In, I, <laughs> I walked in and I got them to sign a wilted. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> they they uh, like talking to plant salesmen. Uh, we got a we got. He a, wants people off the got, road. We, to we, some we, we 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 got breaking news here. Robert in uh, New Orleans. Uh, Robert. Hey guys. Hey there, uh, Robert. What's up, Robert? Yes, I got in my rig this morning, looked at my series, it said subscription updated, scanned through the channels. It had the XM channels. I called Sirius, and they activated y'all channels for me. All right, look at that. Wait, nice. so we're on Sirius right now? Sirius, one, uh, it says XM 197. XM 197, what? 197. It's, it's on Sirius, but it's got... Yeah, channel XM197. Maybe it's just caught it. Well, who knows what they're doing. Yeah, we don't the know. The word will get out. Don't worry about the it. The word will spread it. If you have Sirius, put on 197, well, and uh, we're well, on. A lot of people but saying that we're hear on. hear that, uh, you're already on 197, so that's, that's right. stupid. But a lot of people saying we're on. Joe from uh, Plattsburgh. I'm listening to you guys on Sirius 197 right now, and then you got Jerry in Michigan on the phone. Jerry. Yes, you guys are. You guys are on channel 197. We'll go for them. Yeah. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Not a problem. All right, thank you, Jerry. Okay, Rich, so you have these plants, uh, and it's in a van. Dude, I, I, well, at least we finish it. You sold it for 100 bucks. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, and then when I was pitching at uh, Mer Merrill Lynch, they offered me a job back. Why? Because I was a good salesman. You I'm a great salesman. Probably right? to fucking tend their plants. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go from desk to desk and water them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's good with plants. Yeah. I want to keep the environment friendly. Then I sold meat the out of trucks. Man. I wish they were the, the plants from Invasion of the Body Snatchers and you fell asleep. <laughs> so, so did Apollo. He sold meat out of trucks. I sold meat out of trucks. Meat did that too? Yeah. Triangle meat. Meat and shrimp. I did too. Oh, and, sounds and, sanitary. And yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Lobster from the, your trunk? No, it was dry ice in it. Did you sell honey too, Tuma? Why did you, why did you put the Tuma? Hey, Tuma! Sell honey. <laughs> Holy shit, Tuma! You should use the dry ice of the plants, and they wouldn't have wilted. Yeah. Live, uh, and learn. Live and learn. Yeah. You what, said it. Are you trying to say you were going to have an IPO? <laughs> A what? <laughs> An info. An IPO. Mm. Yeah, you were like, you went down to Wall Street with your business to do what? No, Merrill Lynch in Jersey. They had branches in other Merrill places. Lynch in Jersey. What do you think? They only had, you, you they never had heard branches of, all over. Actually, you never heard of Metuch and Merrill Lynch? They're very yeah. big. Uh, Merrill Lynch, were, Pierce, Fenner, and Ziggy. In Jersey, they were, <laughs> they were cowish. <laughs> Merrill Lynch, Sea <C> Corcus. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. All it's right, just well. like Wall Street. Well, I Your wall mouth. I'm a multi-billionaire by now. I really... <laughs> you should have gone to Merrill Lynch. You would have been going great. Yeah. I made all the wrong decisions in life. Rich, do you know what an IPO stands for? Yeah. What is it? Some kind of industrial cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it would, you bought Citadel, it was. <laughs> Clean your money right the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, what do we got? Main Street jitters. <laughs> How are they coping with Wall uh, Street? More Main Street. Main Street. Uh, more Main <laughs> Street. God, she's pretty. Yeah. Her fucking hairdo is enraging. Oh, it, by the way. Grow your the, hair, you... In the elevator, voice goes, like if you're next to a beautiful blonde girl, she just gave us a scathing look. Then, as the doors are closing, some nerd was trying to get in the elevator with us, and voice tries to be funny. <laughs> Hey, holding up the whole elevator, and the whole elevator's just like uh, wilted with misery. <laughs> he, put his, he put his hand in so it opens. I go, thank you for holding us all up. <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. Yeah. All right. The world evolves around you. There was a, a packed elevator ready to go to the floors. All right. That's please like tell me <laughs> what, that I'm not the only one that heard evolves. the world evolves, evolves. around <laughs> you. <laughs> I said revolves. He did, person, but without an R. There's a person stranded. There's a person <laughs> stranded. The world evolves we, around you. Can we rewind that? Is there way we can play that back to make sure he yeah. didn't say the that? The world evolves <laughs> around If he said that, I'm, I'm going to fucking bite one of his fingers off and spit in his face. Oh, good. Uh, it looked like a pork and bean. Oh, should, yeah. I, should I put balls on the end of it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. A score. Oh, God. Oh, look. The the hell hell Look, he came from ringing Jim. the bell in the tower to give us food. <laughs> oh, everyone look at Mike Major Post Patrice is pitching. <laughs> Thank right. you. Here's, here's what, what stopping everything for. Yeah, Damn really. It. Here's what Rich uh, said just a few just moments like, ago. Look. Hold on, here we go. I got Listen. It. Well, thank you for holding us all up. I'm glad someone said it. Yeah. All right. The world evolves around you. Uh, 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 the world evolves, evolves around you. Around you. <laughs> You know what I'm great. <laughs> Speaking of evolution, I loved one of your teeth in that 2001 moment. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> threw the bone up in the air. <laughs> Let's say hi to Matt in Florida. Matt. Good evening. Hey, I was wondering if we could put uh, Fox's oh, mouth to work and get him on a little Tweedly D song. You want, you want to do a Tweedly D uh, song today? Foss to a Tweedly D. He, he can't pull that off. That's asking way too much. Do you even like the fucking Flintstones meets the Jetsons here? Let's say hi to Keith in Jersey. Doesn't Keith, work. Keith, are you calling from the Merrill Lynch in Jersey? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I was thinking that for your first day of serious listeners, you really want bots on the air. This is horrible. No, it's stop. really horrible. Go fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> don't, don't you can curse? curse here, you dumb cunt. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> oh, no, sucks. Only up from here or what? I work clean. Yeah, we'll do yes. all right. Hey, uh, I'm good changing news. my image. The Dow is up 223 in, in early trading. Sell! <laughs> Sell! Oh, now it's down. Does anybody have any sweet and low on them? Uh, the market will end um, down. <laughs> down today? Yes. This is all the people that know how to work the market and make money, and then they'll leave everybody else destitute. But aren't all those people that know how to make money uh, taking today off for a holiday? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I noticed less uh, Mercedes on the road today. <laughs> Where's Rich going with his food? He goes, oh, well. he goes, does it anyway, uh, be, uh, sweet and low? Uh, he just says it in the money. middle of the radio show. We have, Ask a, God. we have a million people around here that could get him to dump sweet and low. Like, who would have it in the audience? There's an audience out here. Who would have sweet and low in their pocket? <laughs> sweet and low? What a fucking, he's looking through people's purses. <laughs> Not in our fucking own, audience. Our, own purse. our audience, if you need maybe marshmallow fluff, <laughs> you look through that. 
get some of that. Let's Let's try try that it. Louis Vuitton knockoff of his. <laughs> yes. I guarantee she bought it for $50 from a Senegalese Guaranteed. Yeah, so that is not 1500 bucks. That let was bought you, on, off the sidewalk uh, off listen, of some let me tell uh, you dark uh, skin person. First of all, with your little brother's shirt. Let me explain something Ooh, to you. Hold I, on. Let me explain something What's wrong with his shirt? Look how tight it is. It looks like a wetsuit. It is. That's actually an joke. That is funny. That is funny. That was a good, even though the shirt's not uh, tight, that's how funny that was. But why would, why would I wear a plaid wetsuit? Because you're talking about you're, you're going to get soaked. <laughs> 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 you know, when I put it on, it was really like so tight quick. on me. I put <laughs> really it on yesterday, <laughs> and it was tight, and I was like, ah, let me change it. Yeah. So I changed it. And then today, I took it off the hanger. I was like, is this the shirt that was tight on me yesterday? I don't remember. And I put it on. I was like, yeah, it is. But then I was too lazy to change. And then this. there was this plant in my uh, <laughs> van. <Wow. laughs> it's right. like, oh. I don't like that Voss has a picture of himself on his shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> Polo shirt. Another horse joke. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's funny. Hey, I want to play this for Colin. We played it earlier this morning, but, uh, you know, Colin's into <laughs> what the is politics. It, <laughs> what is it? Oh boy! What is it? That was pretty good. Yeah, it, 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 you know, taps. Yeah, you got to give him that Thanks, one. Yeah. Oh shit! That was a good one. See, I, I'm acknowledging Voss's good line, so I don't get the phone call later. So, <laughs> Voss, that was, was very okay. good. Could I go? Uh, that was wonderful. Uh, I like. What? what? Have some egg whites. What are you doing? I'm trying to help Colin. What Much of my eating? friend hurt himself. What is he eating? Like, uh, I'm right. also What's he eating? Or an apple turnover. I'm Fifth and yet. sixth grade. Apple. <laughs> What? The pain he suffered uh, back then. Uh, oh, that was a fucking just great keep joke. it simple. A cock. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> we uh, you know, stop trying to be fucking. We want to play the Obama. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Somebody who doesn't keep it simple. <laughs> but I fucking stopped. I felt a bomb coming and I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I was jumping on it in the Bombay door trying to get it out. Which fucking nice. honey sucks. Parker's. Oh. This is terrible fucking Why you oatmeal. Why put honey on oatmeal? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why don't we play the Obama thing from no earlier? Cum? It's good on everything. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Obama oh. thing, Ann? Let's, let's do this for Colin one Obama. more time. Obama. It's uh, it's worth playing again. Uh, they, they they got a uh, some uh, some broad in the south talking about Obama. This is I heard this this morning. This oh, is here? my saving. My Thanks for playing along, asshole. Yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I know. This is just an excuse to play it again, Colin. I was so, using you as an. I'm excuse sorry to play. that I was listening to the show on my own time. Oh. <laughs> Don't you get radio? We all get radio. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, we'll play it anyway. What the hell? Yeah, well, we'll I, I want to hear it because uh, I think funny. it's going to help uh, uh, get McCain elected. Well, this is what uh, Anthony is uh, uh, banking on. So right I'm banking on. It helps get the vote out. <laughs> <laughs> get the vote out, Main Street. That's what I'm hoping for. More of these. Well, because Obama is uh, surging in the polls right now. You've you got to be a little nervous, but then you get audio like this, and now you have confidence that uh, yeah. they'll do the right thing out well, there in middle well, American vote uh, for McCain, right? According to this, uh, she, uh, he's she an says Arab. When we're at war with the Arabs, we do not need an, a damn Arab president. When you go over there to them Arab countries, they are cutting off the heads of the soldiers of our Americans. And his middle name is Hussein. And we well, want to... Oh, oh you chitty chitty bang bang. Like Pretty bang bang, <laughs> chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Oh. The hell is that in the background? <laughs> still, <laughs> the still, still. <laughs> You're getting some moonshine uh, made, huh? We want to vote for night. somebody with a name like Barack Hussein Obama. Why don't we just vote for? Ask for that beer. We want to vote for somebody with a name like Barack Hussein Obama. Well. <laughs> Why are we electing an Arab when we're at war with Iraq and Iran? She wants to say the N-word so bad. Oh. What is, what is oh. causing her oh. back? We will. 
What is holding her back? That's her idea of being polite. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. She's got to be. She loves that word. She's got to be conflicted because Arabs hate Jews. So what side is she going to be on? Do you know what I mean? She can't like Jews either. No, no. You know? It really makes sense. I wish that was fucking quicksand you were eating with your fruit. Instead of oatmeal. Why? It was was a valid point. Exactly. That's why I hate you for it. Making valid points. I don't know what she likes. Quit sticking your head out like the buzzard on Bugs Bunny, okay? (laughs) Bitch. Hold it. It's a person. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. You know, there's no reason to embarrass me. <laughs> Barack Hussein Obama. We get it. Now, we're going to have that for president. That's what they're saying. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, watch. He, he's on the <laughs> bad day. Yeah, he's just, you better have it. Yeah, he likes him. No. Black ain't got nothing. to say. She likes it. <laughs> They're probably saying the word. I think there, they right? are. Yeah. Are they, Danny? Are we beeping it. Oh, they are. Uh, why are we beeping this? It was the same copy that was over at CBS. That's the news beeped. Let's play it unbeeped. It. Oh yeah, let's get it unbeeped. The or uncensored. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we get the? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Play it. The president we is a. Uh, 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 He's saying the president is near. <laughs> yeah. Go, Dave, burn it. Yes. No. <laughs> or is an eggnog enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. What is this from, this audio? This? <laughs> God, but really audience. Audience. I don't know. It's from down south. Barack <laughs> Hussein <laughs> Obama. We can't elect a, a, a jag. <laughs> You know, she just u- uses all the words that I use on my drives home. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. I told you to quit taking marriage. <laughs> you got your Jimmy Jackson story ready? We're heading, toward the, we're heading toward the Jimmy Jackson story. Well, you know Jimmy that. Jackson. All right, Jimmy. hold on. Black ain't got nothing. I want to say she likes it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black has nothing to do with the way the Arabs are trying to Sort of not, Carlin. This guy in black ain't got nothing to do with the way the Arabs are trying to sneak this guy into our country. Mm. This is butterette. I guess they're hiding in plain sight. They are trying to win the war, the and they are not in. going to do it. You know what I said? America is going to win. Oh, These colors don't run. She's got Hillary a positive Clinton for spirit. president all the way. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Red, white, and blue. She's got a positive spin. What did she say? Cutters? It colors. Sounded like these that, colors these don't run. Colors. Oh, colors. That's the old. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. I, I think she said. She says colors weird. These <laughs> coloreds don't run. Yeah, which, right. <laughs> unless there's a TV on there. Appreciate. Huh? Unless there's a TV on their shoulder. <laughs> oh. What year are you looking at? When was the last time you actually saw that? that exactly. Was last week. He's fucking referencing the watch riots. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to connect it to the stolen TV from the studio. Yeah, yeah, perhaps the. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. We, we should uh, take a break. Our first yeah. break of the. Yeah. Take a not? little. Everyone eats. I yeah. Think we're this oatmeal is fucking horrendous. What's so why? Bad about it? The honey it's you put on it. You oatmeal. ruined it. No, it's awful. Yeah. Like a fucking loaded diaper. Where does it come from? <laughs> Stupid Parker Marine. Oh, maybe they uh, mixed it in the guy's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that fucking wok hair. <laughs> but the park is known for its good breakfasts. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. it is normally. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the breakfast. Don't get me wrong. And have oh. you been uh, to the burger place uh, behind oh, the curtain? Uh, I have. It's fantastic. To die for. I got yelled at by the park. Yeah, I know. I know. Can well, it's true. What are you doing yapping over on security matters? I wasn't yapping about a security matter. Stupid Kenny came in here and said, Do you know Barack Obama's staying at the Parker? Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, you know, how about that? And then I get yelled at. They do. They love the Parker. It's true. Even Tupac, that's where that whole thing happened with that girl that we got raped that time. Oh, yeah? They, the love, the, they love the Parker. Well, I hope I got the rape <laughs> suite when I stayed there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll break. Foot's here. Yeah. That's all that matters. Footy. And and you got a Jimmy Jackson story for everybody after the break? Well, I yeah. got one. I don't know. What he used to tell the Shyla. 
But um, all right, you think it over. Shyla and Rusty, his all son right. Rusty, <laughs> you you put him over. in the rodeo. Get her done. Who's the guy you fooled around with in the treehouse? Who was that? I didn't fool was... around with Richard. <laughs> oh, Richard tried Richard. to fool around with me. Ugh. We got new listeners today, yeah. Rich. Don't do that, Dan. That kid was beautiful too. I don't know how you said no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look at his picture; he's fucking dreamy. <laughs> Joe uh, Joe Curry was out in California at the time where we all went hunting and and uh, four wheeling and stuff, uh. and and he decided to stay with. Cole Corey to pick out curtains. I almost punched you for knowing him. For that. <laughs> like, yeah, because like, <laughs> like you guys, you guys didn't come out to California until like the mid '80s. Yeah, we're and I was out there. Sex. I was growing up out there. I was a kid out there, so I was always talking. You know, oh, yeah, I did this, and you know, my friend was Richard, and and then they all my friends come out, and here comes Richard prancing out, going, "Hi, <laughs> it's been so long," and all my friends are looking at me like, "You were friends with this fucking guy?" PF didn't like that, huh? No. Uh, no, PF, old plank, <laughs> plank foot. Yeah, I did not approve. He didn't, uh, no, no, none of my friends really thought they go, they were like, yeah, that guy, uh, a little, uh, what's he, I don't know, queers? <laughs> Something. It's like when, uh, uh, turned out, yeah. you know, DiCaprio <laughs> met the kid in this boy's life. Ah, <laughs> ah, plays for the pink team. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. My he, dog, Pepper. <laughs> fucking. F he offered me some, uh, oral sex in a tree fort. Um, oh. Leaning over, I was I was asleep. It wasn't really, but I'm just kind of laying down. And he goes, "I want to suck your cock," and I went subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> I was fast asleep in but the he tree fort. Cock at that age? Yes. Interesting. Made it that much it more hotter that way. Isn't made it that much more <laughs> difficult to say no. Maybe she said pee pee. Yeah. At no, that age, it was like... The guy sucks your dick. That 14, doesn't make you gay. Absolutely not. It makes you open-minded. It doesn't make you gay. Yeah. It makes you... Stupid? No. It, <laughs> you never know if you're going to get into acting, and you have to play a role, and you become a method actor. And you're, doing, like, you're really going for this hey, one, aren't you? should know. He's always performing with jazz. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he dating Christy McNichol, that guy? Yeah, he was uh, Christy McNichol's beard because she was allegedly a lesbian. Right. And uh, she needed people to go out with because she was doing that show Family back then. So, you know, she so was a, a wholesome girl. So they didn't want any of these dyke rumors coming out. So she would go out with Richard and they would go out to these Hollywood things and he didn't have any interest in her and she didn't have any interest in him. Talk about mm -hmm. my marriage. That was yeah. <laughs> Is it really going down south, huh? No. No. <laughs> wow, you really you mentioned it a lot though. Mm -hmm. Do that, I? You, that your marriage oh, yeah. sucks. Yeah, no, that you want to leave. We've been, no, but we're, we get along great. You're fighting about what? Do you? It's tough when you have a baby. It's do you have, your, how yeah, how often? 60. <laughs> how often do you have sex uh, with Bonnie these days after the baby and stuff? What is it? How often? Be uh, a lot. I could count them on my fingers, but they're too small. <laughs> Not much. Not a lot. We don't do self-deprecating. <laughs> I know. You don't, don't do it a lot. Once no. a month. Once a month. No. Uh, 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 once a month. I, I don't maybe. Know. Yes, you do. You don't know. How well, often? You put your little dick in her. Uh, no, my oh. dick's nice when it's hard. I know it's, it's all right when it's hard. <laughs> but that, because that, you know, a lot of guys say that after a baby and you know, married for a little while, kind of. You know, goes down the shit. Bonnie doesn't want to fuck him because the kid's hands are bigger than Rich's. <laughs> <laughs> She'd rather be diddled by the kid? What are you saying? No, Jim? I'm just saying oh, that she sees her husband's hands. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Notice no. how I blamed it on Jimmy but said it. But I wasn't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> What are you doing? Jimmy's doing, doing his banking. banking. <laughs> well, Jimmy's doing this crisis needs immediate attention. In the middle of the show, I'm doing banking. I always do this. It's cathartic. Yeah. I'm listening to everything that's being that's said. Good. It's for an, the first kind of deposit you've made that doesn't have to be cleaned up with a Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of rooting for that one to bomb, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I nice, almost tripped up. Nice beginning. double off the wall. <laughs> 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 We've gotten to the point where he's doing banking. We should take a break. Yeah, we'll take a break. Yeah, I think that's a good bank. A we'll good do sign anything that we, we need, need to step to aside for a little bit. All right, we'll continue. Stay there. <laughs> oh, there oh, it is. There it is. Well, great. Uh, oh, man. Uh, now we can hear it in our headphones. All right. It's right, uh, now, the Obi Anthony show. Yeah, exactly. Now it's time to fade out. We missed the Boss, uh, a doozy, Jimmy. A doozy. Yeah, yeah. You want to reenact it for the audience there, Rich? Oh, it's, what did it's you do with Bob Levy? Can you please say that? Oh, with Levy? I fucking just found this out. I wanted to fucking throw my camera at him. Bob oh, Levy for Danny Bonaducci. So, yeah. marketing genius voice. No, Bob threw it out and I agreed. What was it? Uh, Bob. 
who was fighting Danny Balducci, and I thought there would be a lot of Danny Balducci. <laughs> who? Um, Danny uh, Balducci. What are you chewing, tar? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking not, it's cud. I've had those sneakers for three years. <laughs> What's that? So, Sound like Peter Bondanovich. Danny Bugaducci. Whatever the fuck, I didn't say that. You said. Uh, who is he? Who is he? Danny uh, Bugaducci. Danny Bonadu. If, if anyone shouldn't chew gum, it should be you. <laughs> yeah, why are you chewing gum? Yeah, I can get some free that gum. fucking old man. <laughs> it was fighting Danny Bonaducci. And. <laughs> I put, I paid, you know, for him to wear <laughs> 500 oh. bucks to wear richfloss.com across his shirt. <laughs> for the advertisement. Said what people we know do why. NASCAR, people we do know it. why. We just can't believe. Yeah. yeah. Who's going why? But 500 bucks. Sucker. Yeah. Sucker. It's not a sucker. It is. It is so. He's not Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. What, what the? <laughs> fucking alcoholic from South Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> How many hits did you get out of that? Please I don't know. My counter broke. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't tell on my website. He didn't even know. get a dollar a hit. Yeah, broke. No. Or whatever. There's no counter. Well, so how much did it cost? What did he say? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred you know smackers. That story is so depressing. <laughs> Why? Because he charged you. Eight? Because I like you. <laughs> I like you, and I'm so depressed by just the lack of inspiration that whole story has to it. Just a dumb cluck paying another dumb cluck who's getting a, in the middle of a fight to. Put his stupid name on the shirt. That just dumb fucking other dumb cluck is managing you now. You shouldn't talk about him like that. You fucking idiot. Jesus. He's got a good point. Is Bob Levy a manager now? For Colin. Well, he's not my manager, but, you know, <laughs> hey, he told me, he said, all you got to do is slide down the pole and do 45 minutes, and we're going to do some gigs. And I said, I'm for it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we got Southern, uh, Southern Lady uh, Uncensored. Barack Hussein Obama. Now we're gonna have that for president. That's what they say. <clears throat> Hopefully not. You better watch. He, he's on the nigger side too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he likes him. No, black ain't got nothing. And what to say? She likes the niggers. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, All right, that's close. Wow, that. <laughs> wow, we missed a lot. It's a complex those. relationship, <laughs> man. We missed a lot with those uh, beeps from earlier. That because is just wow. typical. Wow, wow, wow wait. Wow. See, I thought wow. she was the racist, but apparently she likes a bigger cock. Yeah. You know, uh, I'll tell you what, that started as a high school teasing because she sat next to one of the yeah. black football players. In yeah, yeah. And they've been doing that one no, for over right. 40 years. No, yeah. She fucks the rod. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he likes him. No. Black ain't got nothing. I want to say, she likes a niggers. <laughs> so that was a joke in the cafeteria Black in like Selma High School in 1964. Sort of not, Carlin. Yeah. This guy in. Black ain't got nothing to do with the way the Arabs are trying mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, get her done. <laughs> Yeah. She's on, that was actually the blue collar comedy tour backstage. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Uncensored. Yeah. Wow, what, what a surprise. Right. I don't think any of us guessed what, Come on, what the word was. Come on, give us a Jimmy Jackson story, will you? <laughs> oh, yeah, you have a Jimmy Jackson story yet? Well, uh, it's just a, a little one about uh, he had this daughter, five years old. Her name was Shyla, little blonde-haired, Aryan-looking kid. And uh, another son, a son named Rusty, red hair. <laughs> Rusty. A little red-headed kid named Rusty. Oh. And uh, <laughs> when, uh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> when, whenever Shiloh was bad and wouldn't like do what she was supposed to do, right. Jimmy Jackson would say, "Shiloh, uh, I could see what's happening. You're turning into a, uh, you're, <laughs> okay. Oh boy, you're turning <laughs> into a what? What the lady just, or what the what the gen what the gentleman on the tape what? just said? An Arab? <laughs> no, um." Ah. All right, you found it. <laughs> yes. You found it. Okay. Go ahead. So, Shyla. I'm Paul R. Nelson. No, of course not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Paul R. Nelson. I love Paul R. Nelson, right? Okay. Uh, he'd go, Shyla, you're turning into an. <laughs> and, and. Watch. An. Oh. Yeah. The sheriff is. <laughs> the sheriff is an. <laughs> Shyla is an. <laughs> Well, was you early see how, child, early you see how he still education. mouths the word, yeah. even though he doesn't have to? Well, mm -hmm. I have to, to know how long the beep goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
God, He's a meth so... actor. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. I have to. <laughs> yeah. Shyla. I you, gotta beep it. You turn it into a... <laughs> Shyla, for every positive reaction, there's a negative reaction. An equal and positive reaction, like Voss says. The head in charge of physics over here, physics department. She was only five and I wore her shoes. Mine have little lifts in them. <laughs> I still had to tuck tissue paper in the front. That's right. Come on, Shyla, let's look eye to eye. And this little girl, even as, uh, you know, five years old, uh, she knew and she said... No, and she had a little lisp. Oh. So she went, no, she'd be crying. I don't want to be a <laughs> ew. <laughs> she couldn't say her R's. So she she would say <laughs> ew. <laughs> I don't want to be a <laughs> ew. <laughs> and we would laugh our fucking asses off <laughs> watching this little kid say she didn't want to be a <laughs> ew. Can, it, can we play that sparking, uh, sparkling wiggles thing again? Remember we weren't allowed to play mm. that for a while? It's not us doing it. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm sure yeah, we can. I mean, you know, you're telling a little story. And it reminds, uh, uh, Sierra Mountains. And it reminds uh, us of a time. Champagne, champagne. <laughs> we used to have fun. With it. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have fun with that clip. The old man had too much knish. <laughs> can, you want to hear this again? I remember Tom, the old days. <laughs> set up like the Roman Leech. <laughs> we haven't played Don't this. We haven't we haven't played this clip in a in a in a in a, in a year and a half because uh, yeah because we, we haven't got, played it in a while we got suspended for uh, some saucy stuff I, mean, I don't want to do that on your first day at the new job <laughs> yeah it's a smart point well, it's just a, a a very popular video get it done here let's just play it okay say it now we don't hide foggy niggles too many sparkling wiggles at the party it's so many foggy niggles after party. <laughs> Say, no, no sparkling wiggles here. No sparkling niggles here. Oh. Get a job, sparkling wiggles. Get a job, sparkling niggles. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Look, you know what? The kid doesn't know. The mother is fucking despicable. Do you think she knows? The mother <laughs> The mother is despicable. Even the father is bad, but not as bad as the mother because if you find out that this girl when she says wow. sparkling wiggles, it comes out and sounds like fucking mm. Yeah. Uh it it just you got to have her do it. Maybe not on video and put it on YouTube. <laughs> But the way the mother is just like, get a job, Sparkling Wiggles. You know, and you know she's just at the store every day going, fucking Sparkling Wiggles. Uh, get a job. Yeah, she gives it a little, a little too yeah, much. Yeah, she a little, was a little much. too much there yeah. on the mother's part. Yeah. I don't think the Sparkling Wiggles had Everyone anything else, to do with it. The husband's <laughs> trying to keep it fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. Kind of knowing it's a little yeah. edgy, but let's have a little fun with this. Hey, edgy. what about the Sparkling Wiggles there, right, kid? Right, right. Yes, my God, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but the mother is just like, yeah, tell him. I don't want to live next to a sparkling wiggle. <laughs> Fuck that. Sparkling wiggle. You see a sparkling wiggle, put the lots down on your car door. <laughs> that mother sucks a dick. Mm. Mm. Like you haven't called. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. What else is going on today? What the fuck? Is going on today? Why are you so quiet? I don't like it. I was thinking. Of what? <laughs> I was thinking. He was about physics uh, he ran us through before when he said, every action has an equal and positive reaction. Yes, he said that during the commercial break. Yeah. Why are you so quiet? He reminds me of what the Camparis used to say. Well, why are you so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Camparis. He'd say, uh, what do you say, my wife? She'd tell me, shut up, you're always talking. Shut up, you're always, <laughs> shut up, you're always talking? It's much nicer in Yiddish, though. Trans in <laughs> Yiddish? <laughs> yeah, it's nicer. Boss, why did you do this? It's just, it has been a brutal day. He's been getting, <laughs> no, I, 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 he's been getting hammered. But here's a human deem yourself. Just tell us what Rosh Hashanah celebrates and what it stands oh, for. Oh, thanks. We'll be fine. Yeah, That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got to do with diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> it's the New Year's. The Jewish New Year. <laughs> and what is? Uh, what do you have to do? Like, because it's always nothing Raise could just rent. be fucking celebrate. <laughs> nothing could just be celebration. It's got to be some kind of fucking sacrifice yep. and suffering. Isn't it funny that Ramadan <laughs> falls on the same day? Oh. We're all cracking up. Mm. Ramadan's oh. the fucking... <laughs> <That's> hilarious. <laughs> oh, face. He's right, Carl. 
faith. faith. That's what got you to governors. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh. Quit slamming my gig, everybody. I love it. I'm, <laughs> really? I'm there in January. <laughs> I'm, I know. Like, oh, I'm not doing it when you're there, but we're slamming uh, my gig when I'm there. A, hop, skip, and a jump from my house. How far is that from Westbury? Are you coming? Fair. Going. Uh, yes, Hell yeah. Cousin. Don't. I won't listen. bring Joe. <laughs> that troublemaker. That <laughs> uh, troublemaking Joe always punching your cousin in the fucking face. I want to see him, to see my cousin's face when he sees his brother. <laughs> see, Anthony's brother used to beat the shit out of Tim Gage growing up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tim was aggravating men, too? Maybe he was, yeah, maybe he was an ass. My, my brother doesn't Did get in many Morgan fights. Rick Morgan tickets? Rick Morgan. <laughs> Douche. Hey. Hello, now buddy. Leave, hey. Plank, leave Plankfoot out of this. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, don't leave work. <laughs> He's at McGuire's next week. <laughs> Rick Morgan's old homestead. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this Rick Morgan? He guy? was. A, he had a fucking weird, phony British accent. At a golf tournament. Yeah. Oh wow! I fucking forgot about that. I never went to it. He had a golf Good. tournament every year. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was he was like a, a booking guy, he'd book in clubs and stuff. He when I was in bands, uh, me and F F Joe Curry were in bands and shit, he would book us. Uh, and, you know, appar apparently books comics, too. He booked Fast Eddie's when it was uh, oh, really? Top of the Town. Really? Top of the Town. Oh, yeah, Top, Top of the Town. Hat. That was yes. in Huntington, right near North Forest. Right where, I, where I lived. You did special, didn't you do that there? What? You're special, didn't you do it at Top of the Town? <laughs> Top of the Town? <laughs> 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 Live from top of the town, Colin Quinn. Oh. They, they pushed the pool table out of the way and everything. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's that was the worst playing future. those playing those shithole you play like a shithole and you'd hear people going like, Yeah, and applauding when you get done with the song and realize they're watching the Islander game <laughs> and you your song ended at the same time they scored <laughs> and you're feeling all good about yourself, like, All right, we're winning the crowd over. No, no. No. This Fuck next song yeah. there was a time when Long Island had so many great clubs, East Side, Chuckles, Governor and Rick Morgan would book like, you know, <laughs> buses or bands <laughs> or you know, traveling comedy shows yeah. or picnics yeah, the or the shitholes. You know, always the other place. Yeah, never the place you yeah. want to fucking be at. And oh. and guess what? He knows that. Apparently, he wasn't at those wonderful East Side yeah, you were clubs. Yeah, you were I worked at the Rick Morgan gigs. I worked there once. You were always a rat tail comic, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was back then. He was a one, and still are, really. He was a you know guy with a rat tail that would do a crummy one night, and we'd go, ooh, I'm glad I don't work those anymore. I'm doing one tonight. <laughs> I'm doing a one-nighter tonight. In What's it called again? Uh, if he says Allentown, tickle something, I'm going to stab a little fork. Tickle me, Tuesdays. tickle me Tuesdays. <laughs> tickle me Tuesdays. Tickle me Tuesdays. Yeah, that's a good thing when you're that. babysitting. Oh, Uncle Paul. The least, the, least, <laughs> the least ticklish part of that is my pleasure. I hope it's rainy and this fool has to drive an hour and a half to <laughs> No one's there. Oh. They'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Oh, you did you? Did you? 30, 30 seats. Oh, 30 seats. <laughs> yeah, 30. Mm -hmm. No, it's, uh, you know, it's, hey, look, it's money, man. I got bills, man. I got bills. I Is it you care. and DeBono? No. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> you are floundering. Where's your Ooh. tape? <laughs> uh, you, DeBono. you want somebody else to have to use the tape. Sorry, I'd like to put my cousin on the tour, too, but I <laughs> I have to pay my middle axe. Okay. <laughs> Oh, First, you got to bail him out of jail. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to pay him. You introduce him. <laughs> uh, we, have a, we have another teacher going to jail for having sex with a kid. Uh, guy teacher or girl teacher? Girl. How all right. You, Is she, oh. oh my. All right. God. All right. All right. Let me tell you something though. Yeah. If you're a kid, you fuck that. You do? How old? I'm How old? She's not bad. How old? 13. She's kind of cute. She was like, can I kill Gareth? Kind of pudgy. 13-year-old. A 13-year-old? You're definitely fucking that. But here's oh, the deal. Well, of course. Uh, you should see the disaster that Buzz was. The first uh, chick you I had. Her sound like, you made her sound like she was no, hot. She was buzzed. an Amazon woman. Her, her name was, was Buzz. Because she was always buzzed. That looks like uh, the girl I used to see people at Tough Crowd. Remember? What? Yeah, she was kind of hot. She's I a little her, chubby, actually. but as a, if you were a thirteen-year-old boy and she comes on to you, you're fucking her. I wanted to give her the old. Uh, I, you know, can you even get a the old brush Wait, get... that's her. Yeah, yeah sure you can. Who said How many she was ugly? In his mouth? <laughs> that girl's not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Little, 13, little chubby, but she's not yeah. ugly. She's yes. not. When do you, you start getting hard on? Uh, no. What? When do you start getting hard on? 
I don't know, younger than she, 13. She yeah. looks like somebody. Third grade? Second fat. She does look like somebody. Like somebody fattened up. I'll tell you exactly what she looks like. Yeah. What's her name? The uh, the one on... on uh, she looks like Bobby. She looks like she's like she looks like Bobby. She looks like Joe from the Facts of Life. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Okay, a little Joe from the Facts of Life. Bobby. She should be she should be holding a, a Bichon Frise at the bottom of a well. That's Bobby. <laughs> Someone's basement. A what? No. <laughs> Oof. Maybe I, I should have said a little dog. <laughs> the fuck's a Bichon Frise? <laughs> yeah. That was his. That was his dog in Silence of the Lambs. It was a little... Did you actually mention it by pedigree? Yes, I That's did. Right. You the... can come over here and smack me no in the face. No one knows what a Bichon Frise is. Because uh, some yes. people do. They don't. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, would you fuck me? Yeah. Fuck me hard. His dirty mechanic nails. <laughs> would you fuck up a joke by using a pedigree? Oh, I would fuck Frise. up a joke. Put the Bichon Frise. Frise in the basket. Yes. Put the fucking Bichon in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I should never use this pedigree. Remember of that. Write you that shouldn't. down. No one knew what it was. I know. James I realized wouldn't that. have known what that was. <laughs> what, what, what? You're too smart for this show sometimes. Would you? Too yeah. smart. Well, it doesn't take much. It's not saying much. <laughs> well, that's what I just said. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what a clusterfuck. I know. I just stole your joke in front of you. Uh, How old was the kid she fucked? Well, great. That's a good question. Thirteen. Oh, and, and he was. She's how old? How old is she? Uh, I threw the story. I'd away. fucking bang that little porker. Yeah, she's yeah. a fatty. She probably yeah. gives a nice sloppy. Yeah, nice sloppy, sloppy cock head. She has a fucking wow sticker yeah. on her car. Yeah. I just don't like these like... kids that give it away. They, 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 uh, the tattletales, right? Yeah, they really like assholes. Happens. They're, right. they're, they're not really getting the assholes. action. That's yeah, why. little mama's yeah. boys. Yeah, we mean they're not getting. They're fucking. What do you mean? I they think they tell their friends. The yeah, I was agreeing with you. They tell their friends, and then their friends rat you out. Ah, as one nurse. They're not still, getting any. You still stand up when your parents go, did that happen? You go, no, I was lying. Oh, no. You wouldn't tell? I was telling my fucking Of course buddies. I wouldn't tell. Oh, yeah? We haven't heard your fucking appearances on other uh, radio shows? But I said that 30 years after the fact. Oh. Uh -oh. That's true. Oh, Jesus. What, what happened? happened? You had a little episode? What do you mean? I had many episodes. What happened? Oh, well, God. there's the old... Uh, oh, well, I'm going to say this weekend, I got a little oh, family come to the show. I'll tell oh, you next okay. week. Right. <laughs> right. A little family. I'm sure it involves... I'm going to tell you next week. The family not coming to the show, the family, show. But... No, I'm sure it involves, you know, a communion wafer yeah. and... That's yeah. exactly right. Other things. But we'll talk about it next week. Oh, of course. really? You, got, you have one of those oh, stories? Sure. Oh, you don't want to hear from the family, though. No. It happened three no, weeks ago. I <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the whole family, they have hard-ons. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family's here. Who's hosting? <laughs> Tim Gay. Yeah. He's got a story He's that middling. he doesn't want to tell now. Why? Because well, family's listening. Show, me you, you got Gay. family listening two right men? now? No, no, I'll tell you next week, I swear. Yeah, tell us. You're counting on the town so of Belmore to show up uh, to that? governors this him weekend. And you. That's so what it is. They're all coming to governors. Was that? It's just him and you? Yeah, why? What's wrong? It's a good show. I like him. He's funny. We use him once in a while. Who's we? Well, if I bring Bonnie, then I'll bring oh, him, too. So don't say if I bring act. Bonnie. No, I don't work with her all the time. Yes, oh, you do. Stop. Yes, you no, do. No, no he doesn't work with her all the no. time. The time he doesn't work with her when she decides she doesn't want to work that <laughs> Right. <weekend. laughs> you yes. don't have a choice. It's not free She's will. not working Dayton next week in me. Why? Pussy whipped? We'll tell you when you work with the body. Is she at the hilarities? This, yeah. But She's not in Dayton. <laughs> She's not in Dayton the week after. Because she decided mm. not to be. No. No, no, no. What's the problem? Because it's it's a lot of work taking a baby on the road, so we only do nice It's a lot kids. of work taking a like baby, and, and she's got the kid to worry about, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do play on words like that this weekend? Yeah, yeah because play. I don't, I have to, because I don't have my wife to write my good jokes for me. <laughs> hey, we got someone. Know, it only lasted melted. two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 you blew it. <laughs> Why? I still deserve to laugh on mine. Dayton's what Bonnie wants to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, we got a guy that went to high school with that teacher that uh, is going to jail for six years. Mike in New Hampshire. Mikey. Mike. Uh, Hello, Mike. Yeah, I uh, went to uh, high school with this girl. She used to uh, be pretty uh, pretty straight. She top of the class, all that. And, uh, oh, married right when she graduated high school. Didn't go to school or anything. And... Uh, yeah, apparently. She, oh, fuck, yeah, are you in the audience? Of wow. <laughs> so, oh. So, uh. uh, uh sorry, buddy, keep going. No, that's alright, it's not a bad story. Do you want but it's to... true, that's the ones that usually get like that, the ones that were straight yeah. and they held it back in high not school. Not the Hewes. They didn't get yeah, to leave, right. they, they have to relive yeah. their high school years. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, yep, yes. your mom was exactly the same way. She used to, uh, she used to be the uh, cheerleading coach. Wanted to. Good God. Live life in high school. Should and, we just uh, bail? <laughs> no, I mean it's, it's an oh, interesting gosh. story. It is interesting. She, was she hot? Yeah, she was smoking back in high school. She was a uh, captain on the cheerleading team. Who, the mom or her? How come she got fat then? What happened? How come she was straight laced if she was a hot cheerleader? What was the yeah. message here? We're all asking no, questions. She got, she got married right after high school, so I'm assuming that's why she got fat. Who'd she marry? Ah. Where'd you meet him? <laughs> How about, I, I love the realism. He goes, she got married at high school, I'm assuming that's why she got fat. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what it is. Yeah. So, uh, yep, but uh, I guess she went on a uh, skiing trip with her husband. Uh, a couple, a couple months ago, and brought the little, uh, brought the little boy. Uh, little are you gonna do all the oh. space too? So what's the husband like? A cuckold? Uh, I don't know. A he fucking was... pederast cuckold. Jimmy uh, yeah, knows a lot about that. Us, Jimmy, can you talk about the bull? Hold on, I gotta put this guy on hold. <laughs> well, sir, in a cuckold situation, <laughs> the discussion about what's this happened bull. is, um, <laughs> Cucky will sit there <laughs> while the uh, while the black bull uh, takes care of the wife. And a lot of times, in order to prepare <laughs> the wife, mm -hmm. the bull must be serviced. And prepared by the cuckold. By the same guy? Yeah. And the husband, a lot of times we'll watch, but other times the bull will need prep work. But then the bull must be like bisexual. I don't know what the bull is. I just know that the bull is there to do the wife. If the wife <clears throat> tells the cuckold to prepare the bull, <laughs> then the bull is prepared. That doesn't make sense. Of course it does. Yes, it does. The bull is mo the I'll bull's unit you. is moistened for anything. Let me understand to take the wife out of this scenario. <laughs> let me add, let me I'm a big fan of the bull discussion. The bull. I like the fact that everybody's show. heckling the caller. He's a New Hampshire guy, and was like, oh, so what do you want, Dane Cook? The guy's trying to do his, <laughs> tell you a story. He's like, hey, this guy's boring. He's a caller. He's not an entertainer. Shut up. This. Stop trying to take the high road. We're talking about cuckles and bulls. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Stop, it's because you're a cuckle, and you don't like the fact that that's what, there's a word for what you what? do. What's that? I, do, I just wanted nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, we got someone that's uh, involved in cuckold uh, activities. Uh, footer, footer. <laughs> Cuckold talk? I, I want people calling me if there's cuckold talk. <laughs> I want to be involved. Yeah, Footer uh, knows a little thing uh, or two about this. Is he any relation to Plankfoot? Yeah. Footer? What's going on? <laughs> what do you got, no, Footer? No, Colin, sorry. Hey, um, Jim, you keep bringing up every time a bull, you keep going black. It has to be black. Listen, it's not, it's not always about the black bulls. It could be a, could be a white bull, too. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't footer, to be footer is a bull. Oh, are you a bull? You know, I think anything over eight and you have a picture, you, you, you're impressing people. You know, you understand what I'm saying? I think there's so many uh, sixers out there that when you're an eight, you could legit, you know, you could take care of business. You know what I mean? Wow. So, okay. Footer, have you done some uh, cuckolding recently? Oh, Jesus. You know what? I, I don't have much to bring to the table. I'm it's been a, a little slow on the cuckold tip lately. All right. But, uh, uh, I'll get back to you. Sir. All right. Thank you, Footer. <laughs> you got to have eight inches to be a bull? Well, let's go to Marty on Long Island. Marty. Yes, I have listened to you guys on Sirius Satellite Radio for the first time. Oh, very oh. nice. Old fan? Channel, yes, channel 197. All right, very good. Thank you. How are we doing so far? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Why, why did I ask? Oh, oh why shit. did I ask? Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm checking out. I We're a big hit oh, on Sirius. Boy, why did I ask? Let's give out the number. We haven't given out the number, Ob. I don't channel know. Channel 197. Well, I mean, our number. I don't, even, I don't know that. 197. I really don't. 866. 197. 8669. Nine six nine two three four five eight one eight six six seven three Barry Moore. All right, Marty. Thank you. Eight six six nine six nine nineteen sixty nine. That's our shitty number. Yeah, it spells something. Wow one wow. I want to say that eight six six wow one wow wow one wow. That's right. Wow at number one and then wow. All right. <laughs> Got to clarify. We're going to go to break with uh, Down in a Hole. What? I haven't played this in a while. Oh, good. That's the fuck oh, of those brothers. Yeah. What? Those the, the two most boring. No. 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 What brothers? This is a different one. Oh, okay. The okay. guys that did the uh, play. Silence of the Lambs the musical. Yeah, that was really good. 
Oh, fuck, we haven't played that in a long time. We yeah. Put okay. the fucking lotion in the basket is a great one. Ah, right, we got a Put couple songs. Put the fucking songs lotion in the basket. Yeah, we, I love that song. I just don't like the language. We got two Silence of the Lambs uh, songs. Wow, we haven't played that one in a long fucking time. All okay, right. Can I tell the serious audience Friday night, because I know a lot of you guys are fucking Artie Lang fans, uh, Down and Dirty with Jim Norton's on HBO. Artie's one of the comedians that's on it, as is Florentine, and myself, and a couple other comedians. It's after Ooh. Bill Maher's show. All right. So please watch it. Let's get those numbers up. <laughs> You're going to be hearing this shit all week. Because <laughs> I got my fucking interview booted. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> we'll talk about the. We'll talk I'm not bothered. No, 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 I knew it was Where were you going to be uh, interviewed? <laughs> what? Where were you going to be uh, interviewed? In, uh, on the east side. <laughs> oh, yeah? What, uh, what uh, TV station? I don't know. A little news station. Yeah, a little news station. <laughs> Why are they yeah. taking it out on that you? That censorship. They're not. They're not taking that. The they they are said, kind of taking it out. Taking but it out but they're you. not. They're not being dicks. That my. It's, no, it's they, like it's they just be cordial, but it's just too awkward. It's too. When were you supposed to do it? This week. This week. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think. I think uh, she's yeah. doing entertainment this week too. Oh really? So you would be interview. Yeah, that could if, probably be a little even awkward. Even if she wasn't, it would just be. Um, it was just me being there. It would be too, it, I understand it. I, I wasn't pissed off. I understand, too. If I had to be interviewed by uh, a tranny prostitute, I would absolutely feel a little awkward, too. So Why? They're great interviewers. They have a big <laughs> microphone they stick in your face. <laughs> <laughs> that sends <sensitive>. you... <laughs> All right, why don't, we, uh, why don't we do this down the whole thing uh, based on Silence of the Lambs, Rurr. obviously. Rurr. And he's going to play Lotion first into Down the Hall? Would All you? Right. All right, so Thank these, you. These guys did the uh, Silence of the Lambs uh, musical. God, right, we have what I'm saying, right? We haven't played this song in a long time. We're going to start with Put the Fucking oh. Lotion in the Basket. Oh. Then we're going to segue into Down in the Hole. I forgot who did that. It was that dude in Connecticut. We should give him a plug. Ah, whatever. Oh, we'll find him. <laughs> All right, it's the Opie and Anthony Show. Heading toward the finish line with Colin Quinn. Rich Voss is somewhere. <laughs> what is he doing? They're laughing out there. All right. And Rich and uh, and Jimmy is he's your... He's locked up. Oh, he's locked up? Ah, that's awesome. Ah, that's good. Oh, wait. He's calling. Hold what on a minute. dummy. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> Where are you? What am I? Yeah. The last comment you did this to, look what happened to him. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah Rich true. and Jenny. Where are you uh, locked out of? Huh? Where are you? I'm in, I'm in the hallway. <laughs> oh, you're like not even in the uh, facility. Oh. No, he is. He's in the hallway. All right, Rich, I'll keep you on the microphone and you can just talk. <laughs> yeah, you just do the show like this. Yeah, if you have anything, you could do it this way, all right? I have no problem with that. All right, I, I put the Blackberry right on the mic. Me and you are sharing a mic now, okay? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, that works. I really have nothing to say now, but let's just keep going with the flow. Well, it's just, comes out. Well, it's just I, don't consider yourself locked out. Just make like you're sitting here and you're just part of the show. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not going to I'm locked out. I'm just that you guys are so busy right now that, you know, you don't want to interrupt the show to let me in. After, you know, being a dedicated mm -hmm. person that I am, uh, you know. This is a good way to end the show. Hey, <laughs> hey we're locked him out. My, no big deal. my father's listening. All right, listen, Jimmy is uh, is hot under the collar. Jimmy's and I think off. it's something that a lot of people can relate to, so I, I think we should bring it up on the show. I think he might have broke his iPhone, first of all. Fuck the iPhone, a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> garbage. It's a garbage technology. I hate it, too, because it's hard to text, it's, right? No, texting is the easy part. It's, it's, the easiest part. it's slow. It's garbage. Garbage. But, but uh, Jimmy is uh, feeling... the stock market. I'm losing money, and I never, I never, I always knew to keep my money away from these fucking scumbag vultures. I have never hey. gotten greedy and tried to dabble with these fucking scumbags on Wall Street. And that's what you are. You're fucking scumbags. They can't hear you. They're not allowed to use the... What oh, I know, but the ones, the ones that are hopefully they're on a ledge right now, about to commit suicide, jump. <laughs> so fucking pieces of shit. You got into the stock market recently only because I listened to my stupid fucking manager. <laughs> who oh, I got a business guy, do you? I oh, always boy. avoided that shit. Yeah, I really, I avoided them, and I got involved recently. And it's just, I know it's a bad oh. time. I get it. We're the whole market's down! <laughs> <laughs> I know it is, you fucking cunt. 
But uh, I, I do understand why people walk into an office with a rifle and fucking kill people. Yeah. I get it. I really get it. Yeah, it's, uh, it, oh, see see the stress and, and, and uh, pain Jimmy's feeling? That's what's going on mm -hmm. in, the, in this country today. People with their retirement plans and everything else, and uh, just and they look, they get the statement and go, oh, there we go. It's worth half as much as it was. I tell you, they beat that guy to death. I would love if they dragged some of these fucking scumbags into the street and beat them to fucking death. Who'd they beat to death? Some guy in India. He was some... Oh, uh, the boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, the boss. Oh, but I that's thought you were talking about happen. Crystal Knox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The night yeah. of shattering glass. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's what needs to happen. A few of these guys need to be dragged out by their fucking faggot ties, their fucking blood-sucking ties, and they need their fucking heads beaten in with a tire iron. All right. Let's get working on that right away, guys, if we can. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have the some perfect interns. Line the gym. Hey, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, Colin. <laughs> Jimmy threw You're encouraging. I'm impressed that the iPhone... Uh, it's only the case around the iPhone. The iPhone... It, it, it couldn't be any worse. It couldn't second, be any worse. Second throwing of the iPhone it's a piece today, of shit. though. Oh, really? Yes, I you, saw the first one. You the, the second one went from the couch, bounced, and hit the wall over here. The first one very was a very oh, short you just call slam guy dunk. Right no, no, no. But I told him to put a stop after a certain point. And if he didn't... Because he's on that fucking holiday today, <gasps> I'm going to burn the fucking building down. You put a stop in? On oh, the... yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, I always Christ. was going to. I'm more conservative. I never. I, I paid yeah. my mortgage. That's what I did with my money, because the scumbag bank gets 6% interest. Yeah. You know, they pay, like, what, one, but they get six. So I was just paying into my mortgage. And all these fucking cunt, fucking faggot accountants, you should invest it. You can make more than six. If you're making more than 6%. Then you are ma you're making your money work for you. Yeah, really? And, 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 and I'll get you 11. You're not getting me 11% on anything. Yeah, I, you I don't know. You fucking they, asshole. They pull these numbers out of their ass that, you know, this uh, actually was made 25% over the course of. Yeah, when was that? Yeah. It was the invention of the steel I beam back in fucking <laughs> 1905. And I never got involved. I never fucking fell for it. Ever. Jimmy's like a guy, you know, this is, you, you are a guy that got caught up in one of those pyramid schemes. This is the <laughs> yeah. same type of thing. Remember, like, years ago, people were all like, dude, I'll get you in on this thing. Look, it's a pyramid, and, and then it, it builds up, and once you're at the top, everyone gives you the it money. It was good if you and got it in early, man. And it never got it. I never knew one person <laughs> yep. that got paid off, I don't care how early or late they got in, got paid off on a pyramid You had to be in early. You had to be, you had to be the guy that thought it up is what, right. it, what it is. You had to be early. The yeah. guy number one. Why don't we bring back the pyramid uh, scheme? Pyramid scheme. We'll, we'll start with our listeners out there. Why yeah. You, you give us your money. Uh... $100 and then, a piece. And then you bring in three of your friends. To give you money. To give you money, but then you got to give us that money, too. What's funnier than that? Eventually, you work your way up to the top, and the cops come and bust it, and you go broke. Yeah. Okay. Then you're mad. Jimmy, you're good. I, I'm, I'm not, it's, it's not even mad. It's like murderous. Like, I really would love to cut somebody down with a rifle. I would love to do that. I would even mm. take the jail hit and, and just, I would, it would feel so good. Go to the range. We'll do a little target practice. Uh, right through one of their fucking suit jackets. Yeah, oh. Fucking scumbag. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, it's like, I'm not some greedy scumbag that always played with money. I was really concerned. Yeah, but I pay my fucking mortgage. What happened? Did you get a little greedy? Did you get, no, did you, did, just but, because I'm like, but I'm were fucking, you listening and going like, wow, okay, this sounds good? No, because it's a slow build. I'm like conservative. Yeah. They probably, like you said, they probably put me more in stock because yep. of what they do, being the fucking scumbag vultures that they are, they don't listen. They don't want to go conservative because they don't give a fuck because yep. it's not their money. Um, but no, it was just a matter of like, I'm in my, I was, you know, fucking 39 when I did it, or for actually 40. I never invested in my life. It's like, well, you gotta have something invested. It's yeah. Like, just common sense. I'd be stupid not to invest something. So that's why I started doing it. Um, and it's not gonna break me. I'm not gonna fucking lose my, it's none of that shit. It'll just, come back. I hate watching my money go down the toilet when I never fucked with the stock market. But it, never. I, there's confusion here. You're not doing any boiler room shit. This, no. You're doing very legit. The legitimate legit. stocks, oh, a lot then, of energy then, stuff. You know what, then? then you'll it, be all right it'll in the come, end. It comes Jimmy. back. It ain't coming back. It'll come back. Citadel won't come shit. back. 
<laughs> but uh, uh, that the shit like that, that'll you, come back. You put it in a drawer and, and oh. just don't even you look at it. You put it in a drawer. I got the call don't yesterday. We might want to lighten it a little bit. Like, that means put some more of it in cash. That means they're starting to admit defeat. That's like, there. wow, He's we scared. can't do anything with this. Pull it out. It's like, where you were you, you know. when it was fucking only down a few dollars? You, you fucking you asshole. You know what else? The safest investment always, real estate. <laughs> I didn't touch real estate. <laughs> location, location, location. <laughs> you know what the thing is, Jim? You can't have somebody that's shuffling your money around every fucking day. That that's that's bad. That fucking is is gambling. You need to get a portfolio that re you review probably every couple of months, maybe. You could leave shit in for a while, and then you review it with your finance guy, and and you, you go with like. Name blue chip stocks. You go, the bonds, tax free municipal bonds are very good. Uh, you got to do what I do. I had all my money transferred into singles and fives. <laughs> very <laughs> good. See, always, this is what Colin does. I always know, like five dollar bills always going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens to the economy. I just you know, knew you're not though. Too far off though Colin. I knew. Yeah. This is why I, I never got ripped off. So I never trust these fucking vulture yep. agents, these fucking scumbags who put they their are. hand in everybody's pockets. Yep. I watch everything. I'm careful. I don't trust them because too many artists get fucking stolen why from. Why do you think they're driving fucking nice cars? Yeah, but who this is a case where you can't watch everything. Titty bars? Who yeah. do you think pays for their titty bars? Titty bars. You can't watch everything when it's dinner. in an account. No. Smith you can't. Malenskis. No. I never should have. I never. Should have fuck. I should just did what I did. It was in the bank, and I was just putting it into my fucking. Oh, Jimmy, what kind of stuff are you in? Are you I don't know. Mostly like just for energy stuff. It's all pretty <gasps> Texas Instruments. None of it's that crazy. I don't think pork bellies. None of it's crazy. And frozen Hold orange up. juice. Concentrate. Third largest bank just fell. Oh, that was an Iceland. Oh, well. It was an Iceland. Forget about well, it. Well, Doesn't well. count. Good. Good. You're I'll take the loss. The more of these fucking pieces of shit that go down and cut their own throats in a tub, the happier I'll be. Mm. Global Financial Summit. Uh, I fucking knew. Instinctively, I fucking knew. Yeah. It's coming back. Look, we're at 272 points up today. It means nothing. I lost. I'm down again today. It's, it's irrelevant. Maybe the now stock is shit. 266. It was up to uh, 300 before. Maybe the stock is shit. I mean, I just don't know enough about oh it, which boy. is why I shouldn't have done it. Oh right? I understand boy. interest rates and mortgage, Write down and the that's stock, what Jimmy. I should have done. No, I don't know it offhand. Okay. Oh, see, that's bad, too. Yeah, but are you into weird you should, stuff? Like, you should know it. When we started investing uh, back in the day, they got me into some breast cancer drug. That no, no, no. I don't think it's any of that. Speculative fucking that's, pharmaceutical. Uh, no. Oh, my go, God. They're that's like, insane. you got to get it now. It's going to be 100 by the end of the year. This thing is, the last I checked, which is months ago, was trading at $1.10 or something. Yeah, no, no. It was not like that. I lost probably fifty to 70000 on that one stock alone. Don't invest in the bag. stock, either. Invest in the sector. Well, I, I know that now. I didn't you, know you, back in the day when everyone was day trading and and, and and buying stocks. Like you got... I got uh, Dell, Jimmy. Dell! You have it now? Yes, I, I'm losing my shirt on Dell. A lot of mutual I funds. I got in th three, different, uh, three different times on that one. We should maybe lighten it. Yeah. Really? Well, where was that when I told you fucking thirty thousand dollars ago to lighten so it? So you already lightened it. Where was that? <laughs> oh, so see, you took a hit. And then we got that. I, I want to. I'm. I fucking. I'll take the hit. I'll survive it because I'll <sighs> yank it. Uh, I just know not to get mixed up in that shit. There's, there's a certain. It's a. It's a certain fucking scumbag something for nothing mentality. Yeah. There's a certain. Fucking get something for nothing, and I never did that. You can't have a guy shuffling your shit around every day. Yeah. Fucking, you, you, should have, it, fucking you should have a say in every fucking penny that gets moved back and forth, and it should be reviewed every so often. You sit down with the guy, review your folder, and and look at everything, and then he and then he'll point things out to you and go, "Here's what you need to maybe we we'll, maybe we'll get a little more on this because it's more of a longer term look." At what's been going on. When I sit down with my finance guy after like three months, I could look at three months of the market and it gives you a better idea what the market's doing than it does with one day. Panic, sell it. Holy fuck, buy it. Oh shit, what am I doing? Yeah, you'll have a heart attack before you're 45 there, Jimmy. I shouldn't have just, I should have just paid my mortgage off. Well, because I'm fucking, the, first of all, 6% of the fucking scumbag bank annoys yeah. me. So if you can be debt free, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do that. 
But the less I pay in interest, Jimmy, the happier I am. How long yeah. have you been in the market, though? A couple of months. That's oh, the beauty you're of it. Insane! You're gonna lose your mind. Get out! To, you're gonna have to get out because you can't handle the, this. I could handle it if it wasn't the worst economic times. All right, so let's just 1907. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you really did kind just, of. Get that's in. not comforting. All the right, fact just that let I got it play in. Out. Just, just don't, don't I, look at it for now. But all the money will be gone by the time it as plays out. As long as it's solid stocks and you're not doing like. But I have no faith in any stock because even Apple is down. It's all down. Apple's gone back up today a little bit. It's up like four, Apple was down four and a half $20 bucks. I'm just today. saying, like that's a big one. I, so I don't. They want to know: Are, are you in? Uh, is it an S and P 500 index fund? Index I wouldn't fund. know if I. I, I don't people know. People saying that you might be overreacting. I'm just saying. And I'm, I'm not, not overreacting. I'm not trying you to get, get you riled into up. like flat screen TVs. You know that <laughs> I heard from inside source they can convert all the TVs. <laughs> Well, you know, I, fucking Colin. Colin don't give a shit. I love hey, it. Colin's like, we're yeah. trying to help Jimmy. I'm in ones and fives. No, there's nothing you can do to help me. It's what <laughs> helping me would have been listen to myself but you're and gonna, not scumbag. But Jimmy, you're gonna, fucking guys whose whole job it is is to stick their little dick beaters on other people's <laughs> fucking money. You're gonna lose your mind if you check this yeah. thing every day, though. You know, you, you feel like you're getting left out. You, know, you, you feel like getting left out in the hole when they're making decisions, kind of like Voss. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, where's Voss? Rich, come back in. Is he All's still forgiven. locked out? Probably. He's, he's standing yeah. by the door outside. Oh, is he really? <laughs> uh, let's Even see. now, this was up to three hundred. Now it's back to two forty. It's sixty points in five minutes. Well, you sure can't watch it minute by minute. No. And I normally watching it every day was okay. It would be up a little, be down a little. It was interesting to watch. I'm I'm disgusted that I put it in at this time. Of course, this is. By the way, this is probably why I crashed. Be, the whole thing went down because little Jimmy Norton tried to stick his fucking don't play with men fucking money in the stock market. You're so. <laughs> I'm so accurate. I'm completely no, accurate. You're, you're so. Do you understand? You're I'm, little Jimmy. <laughs> I'm negative, right? But every yeah. iPhone I've had has been fucking garbage. I put money in the stock market. Co the fucking countries are, are collapsing. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. No, but it's okay. But it's the truth. It's what, a, Jim is so, Jim, why are you so it negative, Jim? Why are you so negative, Jim? You finally go into the market, and it's the worst time in market history. But I mean, that negativity is accurate. Oh. It's accurate. Uh, it's Here comes one of those people you were talking of, about. Speaking of disasters. Mm. It's accurate. Oh, well. <clears throat> it's not undue negativity, or, 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 or it's fucking correct. Invest in porcelain after well, he uses, does his teeth. Nobody's using strong terms <laughs> like that. Undue negativity. <laughs> <laughs> undue negativity. Undue negativity. Nobody's getting. Nobody's getting that crazy. You got to be in for the long haul. Boss, how was it out there in the hall? I was almost falling asleep. I was listening to his rant for the fourth time today. <laughs> He's a little upset. It's something. Yeah, Rich. Relax. Why don't you help out your friend? Yeah, give him what some happened? advice on fucking give him some finances. Sage advice. Help a little rascal. He's in the market. He's looking at uh, what's happening, and he's uh, dropping yeah. a lot of money with this fucking yeah, situation. Yeah. He got in at a horrible time because some fucking shyster uh, grabbed a hold of him and said, I know how to invest No, the you know, guy's not a shyster. The, guy, the business manager is actually, he's not a scumbag. He really isn't. I mean, I, I know he's not. I'd love to say he is. I'm just saying, as a general rule, because that's what they do for a living, right. they are scumbags. But mm -hmm. as a guy, he's fine, and I, I actually do trust his judgment. I'm more disgusted with the whole timing of it. And I know everybody's losing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know. <laughs> but you fucking assholes have been here for years. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I was yeah. so fucking smart. I just paid my fucking mortgage. Yep, boss, you're no, don't pay your mortgage. That's dumb. Live on the interest and pay the... Fuck you. See, if you, you invest your money and you make 10% uh, uh, yep. and your mortgage is 6%, you're actually making 4% on your money. I'm so glad I as didn't long as to you, that shit. So don't pay it off. It just invest it. Yeah, they want me to pay interest only for 10 years. I paid three quarters of my apartment off already. I'm so yeah. glad Good. I didn't listen to these fucking right. cunts and their financial advice. Can all pet. Canadian Allied Petroleum. Ah, that's what you got. Dude, I got money in, in Teldar paper. Don't I love Lucy? Fuck, <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah. yeah. Such, such, such Canadian Allied Petroleum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay off yeah. my house. That's what I was talking to you earlier about. Yeah, Foss. this weekend, probably after your Tuesday tickles gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, because if I'm Tickle me my, if my, if my interest rate on my mortgage is five Tickle and three me quarters, Allentown. I'm not going to make five and three quarters out of the bank, so I'm better off paying it off. Foss, do something. You're Jewish. Unless you can. He's yeah. not Jewish. I told you he's the only Jew with no business acumen. No business sense. He comes sense. to me last night, me, who knows nothing about any of this, and goes, 
Possibly. What's going on? <laughs> how, 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 is anything we could do? Hold on, let's get some advice, I boss. We got a, we got a situation well, here. Help out your friend of many many years. He doesn't he's, know. He's, he's, in, a, well, he's in a tight know, spot. Right he just now. said five quarters know, instead of quarters. I said <laughs> all I know is if you're in stocks, <laughs> it's going to take ten years. Stock is not an overnight. Thing is, and if that's all the I know is it, to really, it took 20 minutes for it to, go, to lose 25 <laughs> percent. All I know it is, is an all. overnight thing. Loss. All I know is if the guy giving you advice says "alls," I know. Alls, I know. <laughs> alls, I'm saying is invest in Pescetti <laughs> <laughs> and napkins <laughs> and tortillas. <laughs> tortillas. Yeah, I just put my money in CDs. Rich, you know, we really gamble. Yeah. Just gamble. don't invest in your in, own. In your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, we we really need a here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I'm saying yeah. is I'm not lying. Here's the thing. Number uh, one. Number one. Right, there's I never a number two. So that's one of my thing. bits, dummy. Uh, <laughs> right, don't be doing my fucking act that I'm going to be doing. Oh, please. Right, I bailed. CDs because <laughs> how is Cleveland going to even know if there's a recession? Have you been there? There's no <laughs> jackal. <Dallas. laughs> I know. It's brutal. <laughs> boarding up stores right, right now. Yeah, we got to go check our stock. So let's get out of here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's look at that. The day. I was I was out for a while. I was in the bathroom out. <laughs> no no, no one noticed. Uh, ooh, got me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what a zinger! I think we should end. I think we should end on that on that Geraldo croat. Yeah, what? Croat? <laughs> it's a person. There's a person stranded. A There's a person stranded. What are we? Uh, play? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've seen a tear come down Colin's you know eye. <laughs> Jimmy's so mad, I think he deserves to to break one of these flat screen TVs yeah. today. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I, I, I think that would be no. Mars, how no. much are the TVs? Uh, uh, Bonnie's gone. Uh, <laughs> how about a brick through the TV as we're watching, uh, the, you know, the Dow today, Jimmy? I'm not mad at the TV. Uh, get me a brick. I want to tempt Jimmy. It. it won't. It won't tempt me because it's not going to hurt the people I need to hurt. Like, like it's going to make you feel better. It's going to hurt us. Ah. We're the, I'm not mad at us. They won't know that one's gone. <laughs> they won't know. They don't know what we do here yet. You guys really don't. You guys aren't sure about the real news. Project Runway might end up on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> we did discuss that. Colin is loving this. Seven runner-ups. We want to go home. Line of the day brought to you by WebX.com. Hold meetings, make presentations, and jerk off from the comfort of your own home or office. Check Good. it out. At, <laughs> what? Good stock to get into. WebX? <laughs> Check it out at WebX.com. Uh, we start with the first of many runner-up wow. lines of the day. Looks like the opening sequence of this e bunch. Go get. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, wait, of the what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, All right, watch. enough people got it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is coming in, uh, Jimmy. You don't lose it until you sell it. So, officially, That's you right. haven't lost you anything. Just, uh, you have a paper loss. You have a paper loss. That's nothing. At the worst, it's a good uh, write off at the end yeah. of the year, right? right? Uh, well, he can we only, know that one. <laughs> he can only offset his gains with that, apparently. What do you mean? Like, if you uh, lose money in a stock, uh, you can't just write it off. But if you made money on a stock, you could take the, the amount that you lost and use it to offset the capital gains tax on what you... So if you lose, lose money, you can't write it off. If you no. lose, you still win. But if you fucking... Only if you win somewhere else. If you lose, you win. So, But, but if you win... Oh, but you got to pay through the fucking nose they, in capital gains tax. Right, but if you lose, you can't... Sorry, write, you just I thought lost. it was write it off. You could write off no, loss on stock. No, apparently you can only offset your losses with it. I'm writing my teeth off. God, all, why? How can all of us think of nothing? <laughs> I, it was, I was shocked. I was stunned at such a fucking slow. That was a slow ball that went right past me. Strike! It's like, but I watched it. Yeah, yeah. Well, how are you writing your teeth off? Do you, you tell them you're opening a garage door company <laughs> and they're the display models? <laughs> I'm, an, I'm a so-called entertainer. You need teeth. What's that? You need teeth. You do. And all oh, you say, you say that those are, are where you used to advertise your gigs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, Rich. Another runner-up line of the day. Well, no, I know. Oh, pull a tampon out of your purse and put that in. <laughs> Making me sick. You have a rape whistle in there? <laughs> <laughs> Down and Dirty, Friday night, midnight, HBO. After yes. Bill Maher. Sure, it'll be another monumental flop. Another thing. 
Fucking one season, Lucky Louie. One, I'll get four episodes of this. And you want know Tough Crowd only lasted two seasons because I was in love with it. I know it was the best. If I wasn't there, you'd still be on the fucking air. I'm telling you. Well, judging from my record, I don't know if that's true. No, you're also a complete <laughs> failure. But I figured the two negatives would Thank make a positive. <laughs> that reminds me of a quote from a great philosopher. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Every action <laughs> has equal and positive an equal reaction. and positive reaction. Is that, is that how the saying goes? Oh, that should know. be the quote of the day. Yes. No. Like when you talk, people get nauseous. That's the action and the reaction. Yes. Why does Rich Voss look like he's waiting for mommy to pick him up? <laughs> Because you're, you're looking at the content of what he's saying. Yeah. This guy's jacking on like his mommy he here yet to bring me he home. He came in this morning and getting, he, even for uh, even for the show, he's getting hammered so hard he can't wait to get the fuck out of here. He's just ready Newton. to go. Newton's third law of stupid. That's what that was. He just ate the sandwich off the blood too. Hold on, what's that? I heard you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh the guy was excited. Look, Look he wanted You're it. taking the wrath of Jimmy's yeah. fucking anger. I am not even mad at him. It was an apple turnover. I let him punch me. What are you? I'm a stockbroker. <laughs> we should end with Bob Bob Seeger's Main Street today, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, no, oh, honor no. Of Wall Street and Main Street. I'd, I'd do Why a Wall Street thing. We'll, we'll end with a song today. Here's another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll try to get you back on board there, Rich. Look at his <laughs> mug shots. Yeah. Wow, they're just scrolling along, and he looks like someone. He looks like everyone. He looks like what's his name, <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Oh wow, very good. Let's go right to the next runner-up line of the day. Not all of them, but he he's saying that we should open the borders. I think we should go back to the old '80s radio where you have a comedian come in and set up his bits because you're really <laughs> bumming us out. <laughs> oh. Rich, what are you promoting today? Hilarities. Hilarities. Uh, Tickle Cleveland, Tuesday. Where are we at? Hilarities in Cleveland. Hilarities. Uh, uh, Thursday through Sunday and tonight at Tickle Me Tuesdays in Allentown at the uh, Allentown Brew Works. Tickle Me Tuesday. Uh, I didn't make the name. I don't What do you, what are you, you taking? make the name? You accepted the Nicorette job, gum. though. At the... Nicorette? You're still Why don't you stop that with shit? the gum? Let, get nicotine out of your life. You quit huh? smoking years ago. I know. I ago. spent 30000 on it. Gum Look, keeps them away from you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thirty thousand. Oh. oh my what? God. Per tooth? <laughs> oh my God! No. I'm glad that one missed uh, a lot of ears. Uh, what? Wow, what man. happened? Jesus. Was that him? Did he say something? No. It was kind of good, actually. What the one I said? Yeah. No. Just another racist you're thing gum. from Anthony. I said you're gum, and I said, I said, uh, I didn't know gum keeps him away from you. And I said, oh, oh, Nicorette. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> okay, never mind. It's never funny the second time, but all right. I just like to see Jimmy smile. It did make me You smile. have a guyless <laughs> smile. Unzip your pants. <laughs> Let's do another runner-up line of the day. <laughs> Socks. God. And Biden is a scope away from the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> what are you insane? Wow. What? I oh, Rich <laughs> Boss. Yeah. I had to say the name. Rich Voss yeah, yeah. said that. Yeah. <laughs> no one that gets paid said that one. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, do another runner-up. A lot what of them you... today, huh? Go ahead there, Doug. Yeah. What are you, posing for a catalog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. He had a... Colin, he had one that he came JC in with. JC Dummies. <laughs> are we done? One more? Two more? One, two more runner-ups? All right, two more runner Is this? Let's do another one. That's what we did the comedy show out of the diner on Euclid Avenue, remember? Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sounding particularly moist today. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to have a discussion about Cleveland. He swallowed, yeah, he swallowed Lake Erie, yeah. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, the big gig uh, next yeah, weekend at Governor's. Funny. This weekend. <clears throat> oh, this weekend. This Holy weekend. Shit. You're right, you're right. He's <laughs> not booked that far. Colin Quinn, Governor's, <laughs> this weekend. And what yeah. is it? The whole thing? What are you doing? Friday, Saturday? Friday, what? Saturday. And what Friday, town Saturday. you're hoping represents? I'm hoping, like, I, well, I said Massac Shirley, but now I'll go with Spionk. <laughs> Spionk. Spionk or Yapank. <laughs> All you Yap. Yeah, anyone from uh, Yapank, come on out. Uh, and, of course, uh, Joe Curry, yes. Oh, Joey, where are you going to be? Uh, McGuire's October 10th and 11th. McGuire's October 10th and 11th. October 10th and 11th. All right, very good. I think we're uh, up to line Is of John the day. John Ryerson still there? Yeah. Line of the day time? Hit it. Here, Here comes another.
another 25% loss. Line of the day. Oh, sorry, sorry, Jimmy. Line of the day. No, you're angry. 25%. Oh, angry. Uh, Voss, who's on the phone? He's like, hold on. Who's on the phone? My well, company. Oh. company. Oh, is Wait, that what is you it? call your dentist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm honored. Oh. I'm honored. Wow. Now, Rich, when are you going for the uh, teeth thing? The 20th, I think. I'll 20th? And then, and then, well, yeah, definitely. Go. Well, I'm gonna, the day I'm doing it, I'm, I think I'm coming in. I don't know if I'll be able to come in next and then we'll bring some yeah. cameras over there. Definitely. I gotta and see that. Sure. Well I gotta make sure they're wow. pulling more than one tooth. Well, at least they're gonna take this out and start pulling teeth. Jesus. <laughs> Get more. After the operation they'll say is he stable and they'll go, no, that's what he's standing in. <laughs> <laughs> Get us more pictures of your mouth. All right, we're going to do our Wall Street, Main Street montage into Bob Seger, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Colin, Rich, all thank right. you so much. Thanks, and of course, Have fun, everybody. And, of course, Foot, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you uh, all uh, later. Pal talk? Uh, yeah, whoever, you know. All right.